Good evening, everybody. How is everybody doing tonight? Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything sounds good and there's no issues. Um, but hey, <laughs> that was a absolutely banger remix by uh, Dave Eddy. That is a remix, as it says on the screen, uh, that side. Dave Eddy, Temple OS Hymn Risen Remix. Go listen to it. It's a really good track. I highly, highly recommend it. Mm. And if anyone's curious what fruity drink I'm drinking tonight, this would be a, uh, a Summersby Apple... Uh, sorry, Blackberry Cider. Not Apple Cider. The Blackberry is much, much nicer. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, let's see. Everything should be good. Looks like, yep. Stream is live. Everything's good. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, that is the wrong order. Put that window there. Put that window there. And we should be able to unmute this one. Right, I forgot. Uh, Valorant actually just had... It has music playing for like five seconds on the, the login screen. And then just the music stops. <laughs> I feel bad for library. Yeah, I do as well. I also feel bad for my, um, for my, my, uh, my, my very big investment. I actually didn't spend that much money on library token. Most of the tokens I have, I got, um, for free by using the platform. So I'm, I'm still very much up because, you know, the, the coins sort of like 28 X since I initially got on the platform. Um, how are you doing, Hum? For anyone who is curious, uh, next week I am probably going to be playing Mind Test. Because people keep asking me to play Mind Test, so at some point I've decided I had to do it, and at some point is going to be next week. Uh, just set up passing a 28 GPU, so I had to go... So I had... Wait, well... Just set up a 28 GPU, so I had to sleep, but I'm also Linux Dum Dum. That's how I feel as well. Can it run Crisis? Can you run Crisis on Linux? Probably. I can't see why not. Um, I know a good server on mine test. Uh, let me know on the Discord. Because if you let me know here, I will probably forget it by the end of the stream. Um, let's go over to my game screen. It's good that everyone seems to be... or well, everything seems to be working. It's actually um, switched out my uh, my scenes. So now I've, like, I've got a time up there. I've got different font down... That, that's, that's, uh, that, what, when, are, whatever the bottom corner is. Bottom left corner, there's some new text there and stuff. Uh, yeah. Do you code on the daily? Which is your preferred language? Uh, the only language I work on daily would be, like, POSIX shell script. But, uh, yeah, it's, I, I don't like POSIX shell script that much. It just happens to be, like, what I use very frequently. Uh, I've sort of said my favorite language before. It is, um, it's Python. <laughs> Not to do things that Python shouldn't be used for, but to do things that, you know, scripting stuff that might be a bit too difficult to do with POSIX shell script. I installed this game earlier, but it didn't look right when I got in the world. Well, we'll see what, uh, what happens when I do that. Also, I've noticed that there's no sound effects in the menu. Like, none at all. This is very much a, um, pre-alpha. When when they say pre-alpha somewhere yeah, up here, yeah, pre-alpha is a is a good way to definitely a good way to describe it. So, um, I probably will pick a song and just put it on loop in the background. <laughs> um, what do we want to play as? This has been playing for about half an hour. It's pretty fun. Actually, no, we're gonna put some music on because otherwise I'm gonna go insane. Uh, let's go into. Let's go into lo-fi. Let's just put some random lo-fi on. Uh, clear that. Yes. I have no idea what I'm gonna what I'm gonna pick. Let's go into, I guess Sakura Dreams and play this one. I don't even have um, the name set up for that, do I? Uh, whatever. Here we go. Here is going to be some random unnamed. Ah, here we go. Here's here are ones that are named. Hmm. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just have that on the back, on in the background. Maybe I'll change it later. Uh, where's the neckbeard character? I don't know. There might be a neckbeard we can go with. 
let what is this this i'm guessing would be like the human character so oh no that what is that that's a dwarf it, it has tooltips maybe i should read the tooltips uh my fate you know what I, I i get really bothered by lo-fi sometimes let's pick something else Maybe there'll be music in the actual game. I actually didn't watch Man I watched like two minutes of Mental Outlaws video because I didn't want to spoil anything really. I just wanted to go into it sort of blind. Is there even sound playing in this? No, there's not. No, it was playing. This the it, it's just lo-fi and lo-fi is horribly boring sometimes. Um, stream. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We just can we repeat a single song? I don't know. That's fine. That's music now. We'll just leave those playing. Maybe I'll we'll turn it down or something. Um, we have music in game. Okay, we'll turn this music off when we get past the screen then. So we have a human character. We have an orc. That's a. That's a sexy looking orc. Just for transparency, this stream was sent to everyone in the developers' Discord. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, well, well <laughs> if there are any devs here, um, let me let me know in chat. Now, uh, I'll be happy to give you criticism as we go. That's oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Is it female undead? Uh, and a denarii. I don't know what a denarii is. I'm guessing some sort of gnome-like creature. Okay, okay, so there's not going to be the entire dev team here. Uh, what do you guys want me to play as? I'm happy to do everything. We may go through a second character um, throughout the stream. Wait, can we put a beard on... We can't put a beard on the female character. That's sad. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess there's going to be accessories at some point, but that's not in the game just yet. Uh... Hmm... Maybe we play as a the female elf. I usually play female characters when I do RPGs. Except Dark Souls, where I will just pick the ugliest possible character. Uh, music under GPL 3 and composed by contributors. It shouldn't get copyright claimed. Good to know. Good to know. Otherwise, we're just going to play the remix of, um, of Risen from Temple OS. <laughs> and I don't think that's going to fit the game. Um... Yeah, okay, so what do we have? We have sword. I guess I guess it's not really classes then, it's base weapon. Scepter. Okay. We'll... Oh, okay, so that's... I presume this is going to be like a caster. This might also be some sort of caster character, or maybe they just hit people with the, the scepter. Yeah, I, I saw a little bit of Mental Outlaws video on that as well, so... I'm I'm very happy to accept I I, I noticed it was pre alpha when I didn't hear any menu music. <laughs> uh anyway, let's see what hairstyles we have. Okay, let's get the first one. That's like a bun thing. Okay. Can we uh scroll through this? No, we can't scroll through this. That's can we Arik? No. Okay, so we'd have to actually use the um the mouse to move through this menu. That's fine. It's just going with a ranged weapon. Okay, like ranged as in the bow, or I'm uh, as a spellcaster. I haven't to do either. I'm I, as I said, I'll probably do both. Um, what do we have? This is a some sort of short hair. Okay, this is like a oh, I got like a oh that's <laughs> I like that clipping. It's beautiful. Um, oh yeah, that's our that's our emo character there. That was, I think that was the one we started with, wasn't it? Uh, pony, oh, not pony, that was um, Twin Tails, sure. Uh huh. You know, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna, oh no, that's the emo character. There we go. That's the emo character. I will be on this screen for way too long. You gave me too many sliders to mess with. Um, <laughs> that's not a, that's not a bad thing. I, I appreciate the sliders. You'll take... Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. 
I created a bright pink anime girl, but sadly color, color options were limited. Mmm, okay. Well, we'll see when we get past the hairstyle. Uh... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? I don't... I'm not sure what the hairstyle is supposed to be. It's like a... It's like a teapot. <laughs> uh, that's... Like a very short haircut. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I I don't have much to say about hairstyles. <laughs> I'm just going to go through the sliders and pick something. Um, oh, that's cute. We're going to go with that one. Hair colors. Okay, what do we have? We have blue. Very, very bright blonde. That's more like a yellowy. Okay. Ah. Oh, God. That's, uh, that's basically the same color as the bow. Can you be bold? Not as a female character, but maybe as a male. I don't know. Oh well, there are way less options for the uh, the male character. No, you can't be bold. Sadly, that is a that is an improvement I would like to see. <laughs> um, let's go with this hairstyle and not the bright blue because I can't see my cute bow. Let's go with uh, hmm. That's... Oh, God, that's... That's very dark. Uh... Let's go with... Go with the red, sure. Blue hair, best hair? <laughs> okay, what skin colours do we have? Wait, are those even changing anything? Oh. Wait, is it just... Okay. I, I presume there's supposed to be options in here, but... Um... Maybe there's options... For different races, but there's no options here for the elf. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, we can be purple. Yep, that's that's beautiful. I love that. Uh, and blue. I've never seen an elf that's blue, but sure. Um, would it? Oh, no, my, can I? I think the slide is stuck. Ah, oh, okay. No, I couldn't grab it. That was weird. I can grab it fine now, though. I don't know what I did wrong there. Maybe the hitbox is very small. I will go with, I guess, this shade of white. Because there's like five shades of the exact same white. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eye detail. Oh, so that's eye color. Right, okay. Oh, yes. Perfect. Heterochromia. Perfect. Yep. We can have one eye missing. Let's go with... Hmm, not that many eye color choices. Let's have... We'll go with... We'll go with that one. Sure, why not? Oh, that's eye... Ah, okay, so there is an eye... Ah, there is an eye color. Right, right. Okay, that makes sense. So that's whether you want... Why are those two of them in there that are eye color differences? That's confusing. Hmm. Odd. And if you have two different colored eyes, I'd assume... It would make sense to have two sliders in there, but... When is dark, press G? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I haven't actually looked at any of the keys. Uh, let, oh, there we go. Okay, let's have our eye color be the same color as our bow. And it ex oh, I guess the male character just doesn't have any accessories, but the female character does. What is that supposed to be? Is that like a... I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Let's go without that. Uh, there, there we go. Uh, now we need a name. What will our name be? Your PC is... Hello, Luke. Uh, you got the wrong guy, mate. Is the game like MMO? Is it hosted as... In just for friends multiplayer? Uh, I presume you could theoretically set up a massive server. Uh, character name. What's our name going to be? Give us an idea, guys. Or I'm going to do something really dumb. Terry Davis? Okay. <laughs> if, there are, if there are no options besides Terry Davis, we'll go with Terry Davis. Luke? There's no bold option, though. And there's no, like, really scraggly hair option either, so Luke's not going to fit. Uh, wait. Or we could go, like, Gnot 
my problem. <laughs> uh, control alt F2 followed by control alt delete. Yes, that's gonna do so much. Oh, better idea. Um, Terry Chan. There we go. Let's play as Terry Chan. How you doing? Let's. Uh, hopefully, the game doesn't instantly crash. That would make this a very short stream. <laughs> okay, God. Very loud. Uh, now you should better hear me again. <laughs> uh, that got loud very quickly. How are you doing, greedy goblin? Oh, Terry Summer. Uh, okay, settings. Do we have any sort of settings? We have reticles or crosshairs, I guess. Uh, that's fine. I don't care about those. Uh, that's fine. We'll keep values there. Chat doesn't matter because we don't have any... Well, we're not doing anything online. Gameplay, sensitivity. Okay, we'll deal with this stuff after. Oh, it has... It has controller support? Uh, to some extent? Okay. We'll see. We'll, maybe I'll try that out in a moment. See what happens. Uh... Yeah, the... It, it was quite loud. I can turn it down more. Um... Yeah, it, it, there was no music earlier, so... Uh-huh, okay, well, we'll work out these controls afterwards. It can't be that difficult. Uh, graphics. View distance. Let's just turn everything up. Maximum FPS, that's fine. It's a third-person game with the FOV slider. Wow. I can appreciate that, yep. I, that's awesome. Um, I guess we can turn that off a bit. Gamma is fine. F. Oh, you only have FXAA. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you can, you can downscale stuff. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing it starts maxed out. Okay. That's yeah. I. Yeah, those are fairly decent settings, and you have a good selection of languages. I'm guessing I'm missing a font. Or maybe there's just it's not supposed to be anything there. That's odd. Um. Okay. That's fine. Huh, okay, cool. Uh, can we increase the size of our interface? Uh, not by the looks of it. Wait, UI scale? Custom scale? Yes, we can. That breaks if I do it too much. Okay. Cool. Uh, I would like independent UI scaling. That would be nice to see. So I could make, you know, the this part bigger or anything bigger, but having some sort of scaling there is better than nothing. Uh, F3 to show debug info. FPS is... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, maybe we want to turn it down a bit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, the game is not the most optimized in the current state. Uh, let's see if we can get it to 60. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if we turn down sprite view distance to like 300, see how much, how much we can crank it before it drops. Okay, so we'll put that at about 300. Turn that up, is that gonna... Okay, that seems to be far less taxing because that's, yeah, that's a much further distance. Okay, uh, that's just dropping below 60. Maybe we want to turn this one down a little bit as well just to make sure it doesn't get, become an issue in the Popular areas, plus my FOV, my FOV is up. 65 view distance can be compared with 70 in Minecraft. Okay. I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. Um, how much did that drop my frame rate? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's, let's make sure the game plays at a solid 60. Let's... Oh, God. Bring that one down. Uh... 500? No, we're just below 60 there. Fine. We'll just leave that at 100. That, that's okay. Uh, 50 FPS? No. No, no, no. We don't want that. 
Uh, no, okay, we are sitting at 60. If we move around too much, it does drop, though. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, put that at two. Just bring both these down to there. That should be fine. Okay, if we go around too much, it does uh, does have an issue with that, but that's fine. Uh, use your cursor to click this button. Okay, tutorial. Or, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, makes sense. Uh, to begin your journey, you could start looking... Uh, you can start looking through this village and gather some supplies. You're welcome to take whatever you need on your journey. Look at the bottom right of the screen to find various things like your bag, crafting menu, and the map. Uh-huh, okay. Uh, the wild, animals, the wild animals all around town are a great source of leather straps to create some protection against the dangers of the world. Uh, whenever you feel ready, try to get even better equipment from the many challenges marked on the map. Okay. G brings out... Uh, that brings out a... Wait, how do I do that? What did I press to do? Ah, shift the... Why shift the key to do that? Try running the TTY for max FPS. Yes, definitely. Okay, the FPS has, uh... Tanked again. Okay, um... Maybe we should, uh... Not mess with the graphic settings. Let's just reset these to default, I guess. Just let the game run... See how well it's going to run on my system at just default settings. That's that's fine. Uh, maybe try running on Gen 2. Yes, that'll... So if we... Okay. So clicking... Does that attack? Okay. Okay, that... Right, I get the combat system. That makes sense. Oh, God. Okay, the attack speed on the cast is... Lower than I would expect it to be, but... That's fine, I guess... Makes sense you're trying to balance the game. Nope. There we go. Oi. Oi, get out of here. <laughs> he just doesn't even care if I'm attacking. It's just like, oh, yes. You are target... Oh, you're basically target practice. So we can get cloth straps from you. Okay. There's a goat here. What's the goat going to do? Just... Oh, okay. Oh, God. The goat is way more dangerous than the other thing. So if we back up, we should... Yeah, okay, we can just train it. And it just gives up after a while. Oh, it runs away. Oh. Okay, the fireball does not give off any uh, light. I would expect it to, but that's that's fine. Um, let's pick this up. What is this? Mushroom? There's a person here, I guess. Oh. Okay, uh... <laughs> oh, there's a thing on the floor. Okay, the, the camera isn't super happy about buildings, it seems. I don't know what I got there. Uh, so, if we go press... Let's just see what the rest of the tutorial has. Nothing? Okay, it just brings us back to that. Okay, that's fine. I thought there was maybe more to it. Uh, and if we press that, it brings us back to that. Okay. Do not mess with the undead, they'll kill you. Scroll wheel to go... Ah! Ah, okay. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Let's go to controls. There will be a menu here somewhere. Uh, bag. Bag is B. Ah, okay. So these items will heal stuff, right? Aha, uh -huh, okay, okay. Easy. That makes sense. I like that. Using the... <laughs> Are you guys actually considering doing that? That's such a such a great idea, I'm sure. Okay, that's cool. I'll keep that in mind. Picked up a tomato. Empty vial. Let's just raid this place and see what we have. I'm guessing those are going to be used for some sort of crafting. Wow, this, yeah, okay. I can see what you mean by pre-alpha. Uh, <laughs> Cockatrice. Yep, sure. Yeah, that, those are probably... That's probably dangerous. And tortoise. The tortoise probably isn't as dangerous. This, ba this game is basically I3 config the game. Well, there's a lot of empty vials on the floor, that's for sure. Uh, what PC specs do you have? I'm running a 3600X um, and an RX 580? 
Uh, I usually play a lot of, um, usually a lot of indie style games. I am also playing through, uh, Doom right now as well. Try yeah, I, I was zoomed in just to make sure I can see stuff and not clipping through the building. G, ah, oh, G was to bring up the light. Right, okay. So there's not actually a model for that, I guess? Or, yeah, okay, no, there's not. It's just, you illuminate, uh, illuminate light. We got Telerend, which is a terminal front end for Valorant case. <laughs> of course you do. Why is that a thing? I don't think I saw Noita. No, I'll, I'll have to try that out. Uh, let's go on this building. What's here? Nothing? Nothing? Anything? No. Can we open this? Can we hit it? No. Okay, it just does nothing. That's fine. Uh, well, let's, I guess, leave the village? Uh, I'm sure this is only going to go well for us. Oh, it's a merchant. Can we do anything with you? I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that wasn't, that wasn't lettuce. I'm guessing all food items just have a steak there. That makes sense. Uh, can I interest you in a trade? Yes. I have plenty of goods, yep. Uh, do I press a different... Is Can you actually trade? Because pressing E doesn't do much. Uh, no, that would be game chat. Trade. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, okay. So let's let's give you. Uh, can I just like? Do I have to drop all of them here? Can I, how do I? Ah, okay. I have to put them in that slot. Okay, right. Can I? Do I have to drop all of them in there, or do I have to? Or can I do it one by one? Uh, that brings out that. Oh, yeah, that's my current time. Uh, I guess we'll just drop that in there. And... I don't think... I, I think I got scammed. <laughs> I think maybe I had to select some... Yeah, maybe... Did I have to, like, select something from his window or something? It's sort of like, uh... A typical, like, MMO trade, except that you're doing both sides of the trade. Let's try that again. Let's give you... I guess we'll give you a lettuce. Oh, okay, so we... That's over here now. Right, okay. So I'm going to offer you a lettuce. Uh... And the... that Okay, it's also down there. Right. So can I give you a... Right, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so we can... Right, right, okay. So I think I'm understanding that. Can I grab like a... I don't want to be... Like, I don't have to grab all of it. Can I just grab like a part of a stack? Or is that just not possible at this point? Oh, I don't plan to shave. Um, uh, t -t -t controls, is there a way to grab part of a stack? Uh, I, c I can understand the way trading is done, but I'm not sure. Hmm. You can split it in half. Uh, control. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Right, I get that. Uh, I've been considering doing the 
the um, the streams on Odyssey. I just haven't gotten around to setting it up yet. Okay, so at some point this night will end by the looks of it. So I guess um, there's oh what was that bowl? I guess we can explore the town until the night ends because I can't imagine leaving the town right now is going to be a good idea. Uh, here we go. Oh. Oh, God! Well. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I... I'm not wrong. Um, did I lose anything by dying? I guess not. Okay, so there's a lion over there. Um, I don't like that. I know when Mental Outlaw played, he went up the hill. Um, can I get into that house without the lion just absolutely annihilating my existence? Or is the lion actually chilling in the house now? The lion is actually chilling in the house now. Oh, it it's trying to... Wait, can I attack you through the wall? I wonder. Wait. Oh god, no, the AO worked it. Nope, okay, it's just, it's not working it out. There is no death penalty, okay. okay. And that is solid, okay, that's good. Damn. You're just gonna chill here? Okay. Can I, can I push you over to the lion? Wait. I can. Oh, I can. I wonder, wait, is it, I wonder if it's gonna attack the merchant. Probably not. Probably only designed to attack me at this point. Oh, no, don't walk. Oh, damn, okay. This game runs terribly on a, G a GT710. I'm sure everything runs terribly on a GT710. I'm just going to murder everyone in the town. Why not? Oh, okay. Nope. Okay, so that, that seems like a much better attack. Oi, get over here. Guards? Are they... Oh, no, there's guards here, is there? Or is he just calling for them? <laughs> Oi, get back here. Oh, you just gave up? Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> um, greetings from Malaysia, Brody. Greetings from Australia. Uh, Zahari Bahar... Bahar... I don't know how to say your name, sorry. <laughs> Baharum? I don't know. That's probably very butchered. Let's go up the tower. It's almost daytime. How long is the, uh, the day-night cycle in this game? Oh, there's nothing up here. Oh, God. The, the game was not happy about looking at the sky then. Oh, is there full damage? I wonder. Let's find out. Uh, yes, there is full damage. Good to know. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you can... Um... Okay. Okay, now, I, I'm no game designer, but um, I, I have a feeling that there should be a, a limit on how far you can scroll out. I don't know, that, that, that's just me. Watching a female character makes me uncomfortable. Um, well, that's not my problem. <laughs> All right, the lion was that way. Uh, can we can we get around the lion? I wonder. We get, let's go over here. What are those? What are these? Is this anything? They're. Oh, oh, okay. The camera changes their shape for some reason. Sure. Oh, they're, I guess they're pumpkins. You can glide too if you jump down from a height and hold shift when you jump. Ah, that's fancy. Oh, that, I love that. That's cool. Oh, shit, it's the lion. Nope. Why Why are we protecting our, our farm with with lions? What? What is... Who thought this was a good idea? Oh, stop. Stop moving. 
this, this seems like a really bad choice of uh, farm defense. But hey, it's it's working out with uh, <laughs> with me, I guess. Nope. Get get away. Nope. Nope. Oh god, this thing moves so quickly. Oh my god. And because the uh, the cast is so slow, it's uh very difficult to hit this thing. You have to lead it massively. Oh my god, there's another one. Why 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 are we guarding this farm with hyenas and lions? Oh god, there we go, okay. Oh what the hell okay. I started clipping through that. That's good. Get, get over here. Get get over here. Nope, don't kill me. Oh come on. Two more hits. One more hit. Yes, there we go. Oh my god, that was uh way harder than that needed to be. Huh! <laughs> okay. Um, how do we eat something? Oh, we right click on it. Okay. Okay, so I guess we can eat some of this food. Um, I tried the open spades to get last. Uh, the, the last game you played, use a flat pack, but ran smoothly at lower specs. But the game needs more development. Yeah. Yeah, you, there's another version of um of open spades called um better spades that people seem to recommend more often. Oh, I thought there was more enemies. What is this? Waypoint saved. Does this fire hurt us? No, it's just a bonfire. Okay. Well, let's go this way. This seems to be a good form of travel when we're not being murdered by lions. Is that another something that I want to avoid? Maybe that's why we have the glider from the start of the game because. Our, our village, for some reason, is guarded by lions. Uh, I could do that. I could go and swap over to... This one? There you go. Red flower. Okay. What are those? Are those things going to murder me? Probably. Because everything seems to be murdering me at this point. What is that? I'm getting very distracted. We're in the wilderness now. What is the wilderness? Uh, oh, they're zebras that are hurt for some reason. Uh, nope. Why are the zebras insanely powerful? Okay. Ah, okay. So that's why there's waypoints. Aha. Uh -huh. Because we're going to die constantly. <laughs> How many Arch users in the chat? I use Artics, by the way. Probably a couple. Oh god, the chat's getting horny. Good. Uh, can I hit you from here? It's like a... It's a lob sort of attack. So I should be able to. Eh. Alright, no, you are much better at climbing the hill than the, Z than the, uh, the lion is. Oh. Okay. Nope. There, go. Oh, no, I'm bleeding. No, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, my lord. Okay, I actually really do enjoy this. This is actually kind of fun. I'm getting murdered by zebras, but besides that... Um, yeah, besides them being murdered by zebras part, uh, this is good. Okay, we don't have to hold down the key to do that. I thought we did. Uh, I'm going to murder all of these zebras. I don't, I don't care about anything else. That is my life goal right now. But are you going to try to kill me as well? At least they sort of forget about me. Nope, you have too much... Oh, okay, so they, they start running away below a certain health point. Okay. Okay. It, nope, come on, get... Okay, and that... Ah, okay, so... Right, that's why I couldn't use that spell before. Okay, so that recovers after time. Oh, not after time, after attacks. Right, okay, I get that. Now the combat's making sense. Yeah, okay. Oi, no, don't run away. Damn it, I need your experience. How did that miss? There, better. Oh, I guess every drop item might actually be, um... 
might be a stake. Uh, I maintain the Veleran AUR package. Oh, nice. Yeah, I uh, I installed Air Shipper from the AUR. Well, I could uh, let people play, uh, but you know, I'm in Australia, so <laughs> uh, ping might be ping might be a bit a bit rough. Zebra in, in Oz are dangerous. Apparently so. All right, I, I I I can just like wait, wait. Can I? Can I? Oh, I thought I could clip through it. No, it's just my camera's clipping through it. Damn! I want to break this game real hard. So whenever I go to like a um a gaming convention and there's like an indie games room there, um, my my main goal is to break. Oh god, it's a hyena. Uh, my main goal is to break the game as quickly as possible and get to the point where it's actually unplayable. Sadly, I haven't gotten to this point, the game to this point yet. Um, sadly, the game's actually functioning. <laughs> I want to break something. Well, besides, you know, besides this, besides this, that's the only thing that's broken. Um, but yeah, bes oh, okay, we can turn like that. There we go. Uh, damn hyenas. Mate, I'm a- I'm a end your existence. Come on, get over here. There we go, much better. Uh, do we have, like, experience anywhere? To tell us... Uh, if we go somewhere? Can we see our stats or something? Uh, we have a map, we have a bag. P brings up spells. Ah, okay. So, oh, that's that's where our XP is. Okay. And there are different. Okay. Uh huh. Oh God, what is that? What is it? What is a sand raptor? Uh you're not stream. You're not still streaming on D Live, are you? Not this stream. But normally I do. Why's that? Wait. Is this thing actually too slow to attack me? That's beautiful. I can just walk backwards. Valheim game... Uh, Valheim, uh, the Valheim design is broken. You can generate another world to mine and go back to your main timeline. I don't think that's a problem per se. That's no different from the way that like an MMO works. You can... You can unlock... Wait, you can... You unlock the other trees in the top right corner... Top... Wait, am I dumb? Oh! Ah, oh, you have to unlock them here. Right, right, right. That makes sense. Okay. I don't know. Maybe the, um... Those sand raptors should move quicker. Oh, God. That was a lot of fall damage. Another thing trying to kill... Are you going to kill... No? Are you going to kill me or are you just walking near me? You're going to die now anyway. Nope, you are much quicker. Nope. I don't like you. Oh, I just realized I have Rayman feet. Do I? Or am I just not seeing my knees? Is that another hyena? Get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. Okay, the, the game just didn't render in properly. I thought I broke something. Damn. Let me break something. Why is this a good pre-alpha? Oh, is that a... What is this? Sand shark. That sounds... Pleasant. What? Why? Okay. What? What? Normal sharks are bad enough. Why do we need sharks in the sand? Nope. Okay, well, I don't think there's any way I can get rid of this thing now. It's just going to chase me forever until I deal with it. Or die. Uh, yeah, I, I worked out I can do that. Um, I need to eliminate all the life in this area. That is my, my goal. But I am very weak, so my goal is going to be challenging. Um, what is that? It's just a random particle. Uh, where was I before? Right, I was going to... I've lost the path I was on. Uh, wait, did I just walk all the way up the hill again? Yes, okay, so that's... 
going over here. Oh yeah, I could fly away, but that's boring. Right, that's where I was before. Okay. Sand sharks usually one hit kills if you let them. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That would explain why I'm dying. <laughs> what is this? Nothing? Okay, it's just stuff on the ground. It's a house there. That's what I'm going to check out. What is this game all about? Um, RPG things. I, I go through this world, and I do RPG things. Is that grass growing through the floor? That is grass growing through the floor. Could we call it a feature? Could we call it a bug? Whatever you feel like. Both work. Wait. That, that... Oh, okay. I thought there would have been something in here. Well, that's no fun. Nothing? Nope. Okay, well. It's just an empty house, then. Onwards we go! It's a camel. That is a lot of fall damage for how small you... F or how short of a distance you fall. Is that camel gonna... What is this camel gonna do? I'm gonna hit it. Oh, there, uh, nope. Well, that camel hits a lot of damage. How many Pokeballs do you have? Uh, I don't know. I've got two tomatoes. <sighs> Presumably, the enemies get stronger if we uh, if we go further away from the town. Feature? Okay. Okay, I'll accept that. Is it just... Is that cauliflower growing out of the ground? What is this supposed to be? I don't know, some sort of weird plant. I don't know. Anyway, uh, forwards we go. Hello, Vault of Sky. Yep, whatever that said. Do do do. There's more lions. Of course, there's more lions. I feel like this was the the bad direction to go. On the other, so the direction that I am not going. Oh God, there's a lion. Nope, nope. I want nothing to do with you. So. The, uh, I presume you meant the, the way that is not the way that I'm going. Do I have knees? Or am I just... Or, no, I actually don't have knees. Okay, so I am just... I am just Raymaning it. Okay, that's fine. You can craft collars to tame animals. Oh, that's cool. Well, I won't murder all of the life near... Um... Oh, God... <laughs> Oi. So I can dodge you. You're not, not a guaranteed death. What is this lion doing? Oh, God. Come on. What? Okay, that is a interesting attack pattern, to say the least. <laughs> Why is it jumping? <laughs> uh, okay, sure, if you say so. Okay, I think I've got this lion down. As long as not more of, more than one of them, I can work it out. Hide behind the ant like <laughs> this lion is on meth. Yeah, <laughs> it certainly looks like it. Um, you, nope, cal, nope. <sighs> Almost got gotcha. you. Yeah, there we go. Hey, dwarven cheese. Why did why did a lion have cheese? Okay. Sure. It's a, it's a human. Hello, human. Um, okay, let's go to that dungeon. There is an airship up there. Okay, sure. Vim goes... Brr, brr. Oh, yeah, no, this is really impressive for a pre-alpha. When I heard it was pre-alpha, that's not... This is not what I was expecting. Okay, that was... That makes sense. Um... The game almost freezes when I, uh, I, uh, open the menu. That's fine. So, yeah, that's why the enemy's getting strong down there, because we're going towards a level 5 dungeon, it seems. I recommend you unlock the staff skill tree. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, okay, right. Is, is leaving the town at night a bad thing? 
I presume there's no way to deal with the day-night cycle at this point. You sort of just have to, um... Just accept it. Does it have Vim key support? You could remap the game to have Vim key support. It seems like there's key remapping. Eh, eh. Okay, this... Can we just jump up here? Yeah, we can. Okay, good. Oh, so... That's not just for, um, our spells. It's just a general stamina. Ah. Wait, did I go way in the def absolute wrong direction? I did. That's the way I'm going. Ah, is it... Wait, is that... Sorry? Is that the one I'm supposed to be... No, that's... Brody can't read a map, apparently. This way is the way I'm going. Uh... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, okay, that's that's what we're looking for. What is that? Is that anything? Maybe. Maybe that's what we're trying to get to. No, that seems too close. Uh, oh, God. Let's keep going. What? I do like the sky... Oh, God, the... The game doesn't like the skybox. I do, though. It's a pretty skybox. That was... All right. Uh, what is this? Is this anything? Is this nothing? Is this... Maybe... I don't know. Maybe maybe it's going to be something at some point. Right now, it's... Oh, God. Fall damage is really dangerous in this game. Uh, pay attention. It, I don't think it, it's going to matter if it gets night time when we want to go over to this... Um, over to this cave, surely, because it's going to be dark in there anyway. It's a tree stump. Ah. Did I just go... Oh my lord, I'm dumb. Oh god. Okay, right. Why can I not work out where I'm trying to get to? Why am I why am I this dumb? Go towards the icon that is the icon you're actually looking for, Brody. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. We will eventually get to this um Uh no, it it seem it seems like the map is um it seems like the map is just a set thing. This looks like the exact same map that was being used for, um... Mental Outlaw. But, procedural generated maps, you end up getting really poor content. So it actually makes sense to do something where you actually design the map. This game is kind of similar to Cube World. Well, it, that, that would make sense because it's sort of inspired by Cube World. There we go. That's, there, now we're getting up here. Does anything dangerous come out at night? Maybe not at this stage. Maybe in, like, a future version that's going to happen, but I'm guessing not. Oh, Mushroom. I get very distracted very easily. This is a, a, this is a bad game for me. <laughs> I would just notice things and just walk off in the complete wrong direction. Uh, oh, it is procedurally generated. Oh. Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Is it completely procedurally generated, or are there set elements? Wait, it's pre-generated because generating worlds takes a lot of time. What's the what's the correct answer? No difference between night and day. I presume at some point I presume at some point that is the intention though. Ah, okay, right. Right, okay. That makes sense. Right, okay. You should check out Firefox Nightly. They're soon going to bring really good hardware acceleration to Firefox. Okay, this is the direction we're going. Good. Walk in the correct direction. Jesus. Right, well, yeah, that's why Minecraft sort of splits it up in the way it does generation, where it generates it in, uh, in chunks. Rather than, you know, generating infinite block, or effectively infinite blocks, um... I thought I got over this thing. Fox. There we go. Go this way. Yeah, I I can see why you'd want to go with um something pre-generated, especially for, or I guess, pre-designed and then partially generated for decent like content layout. Because otherwise, you might have like a a starting map that's just absolutely useless. 
Okay, there we go. Now we're going in the correct direction. We're finally getting ourselves back there. A friend of mine, a mental outlaw, have gotten the say. Okay, okay. Uh, oh God. Is that a thing? No. Okay. That's fine. It jump up the hill. We will get to this dun- We're probably going to get to the dungeon by the time it's daytime. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I can see it on my map now. We're not going to go in the wrong direction this time. Oh god. Ah. Ah, so that lets us climb. Ah, that's cool. So rather than being stuck in a section, um, you can... You can get your, your way out of there. It just might take you a while. We drain out the whole world because there's some real-time simulation going on in the background. You can't really do it without the whole world existing. Right. Makes sense. I have done very little game design, so I will accept any, any answer you give me for why something is designed the way it is. Except for this. This, this there's no excuse for. <laughs> But, <laughs> I will only bully, for, uh, bully you for that for so long. Um. <laughs> yeah, um, no, one, no one answered before how long the, uh, the day-night cycle of this game was. It doesn't seem like it's that long. It may be like... 15 minutes for day and night? Red flowers. Ooh. Ooh, a lot of, lot of flowers up here. Hmm. Might have a new UI called Proton in Firefox. We have enough protons. Oh, there's a mountain there. Nope. Oh, okay. Right, so you... I don't think you're going to be out... I think someone mentioned that you can't actually um, pull this out while you're falling. Maybe you can. Eagle. Oh, God. This... Don't... No, please don't. Nope. Yeah, thank you. Die. We don't need you. Get over here. Oi. Stop. Stop. I want to hit you. No, okay, well... Right, it's an eagle, so it could fly away, couldn't it? Well, that eagle's smart. <laughs> uh, I just realised the way I say eagle is very similar to eagle. Uh, oh, apples. So I'm guessing we can grab it whenever, whenever it shows a um, a th th that we can actually press E. Oh, that was, Jesus, the uh, the full damage is dangerous. That is so much full damage. Oh. I don't want to die before I I get to the uh get to the the dungeon but I think I am This map is very deceiving in how close I am to something <laughs> I thought I was way closer than I actually am Twigs Uh let's go this way Oh, I just realized there's little, like, there's cricket noises um, when when you're just out here. That's cool. Seems like it's safer just to walk around with this out when you don't know what's in front of you. Because it doesn't stop you picking up items. You can regen by eating something. Yeah, I worked that out before. Can I put these in my thingy? Yes, I can. I can put these in my thingy. That sounds very odd. I'm just going to walk around with this out because it's much safer. Unless that thing tries to murder me. Twigs. Uh, oh, was that apples? Apples! There we go. There probably should be some reason why you can't just walk around with the glider out. Because this basically eliminates fall damage as it is. Uh, the Gay Fredge Crib... That's a that's a name. Uh, well, will I find the entrance while it's nighttime, or will I be lost forever? I made a terminal interface to the game. 
uh, the game launcher using FCF as a D menu replacement. I might put it on Git. That's cool. Oh, is this the entrance? This this looks like an entrance. Yeah, we finally made it here. Okay, now how much do we have in the way of? Ah, so that's gonna give us more. Ah, okay, okay. How do we get staff experience then? Because I've been killing things, but I haven't got any experience for that. Oh, what is what is this? It's a chest. It's a scratched ring. That is the wrong button, Brody. This is the button you want. Um, it is armor. Barely any armor. Wait, does, is I does I do anything? I'm gonna rebind the bag if it doesn't do anything. You can switch ambient brightness in the settings to match to to max to see at night. That makes sense. Uh, I do I do anything? Ah, uh, ah, oh, I declines group invite. Well, we can put that one on B and we'll put the bag on I. That's much better. Cool. I'm a old school um, Minecraft player before they switched it from from I uh, from I to E. There's a campfire outside the building. Better save there. Oh, did I not go to that? Uh, there is. Well, okay, there we go. I don't actually need to go outside. I'm close enough. Well, we can, uh... Who needs, uh... <laughs> who needs hacks to see through the map when you can just put your head up against the wall? <laughs> uh, Veleran produced by a Dutch company slash dev. It is Vela, and I, I, I don't know if it's by a Dutch person. I guess it is. Go to the fireplace out. Oh, you can heal there? Oh. I thought it was just a, a waypoint. Oh, God. I'm stuck. There, there we go. Uh. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's not in the... The best placement, it seems. Ah, so you just have to wait here now. Okay. You know, maybe if I, uh... If I looked at the controls, I would know how things... How things work. There's a couple of... Things that are bound to the same... Um... Mm-hmm. Sneak... Uh... Guess we can put that on, like, Z, just so we can use it. Okay. The name's based on Veloren, which is the both German and Dutch for lost. Ah. Oh. Well, what do you know? In my case, not much. <laughs> um. Let's go into the dungeon then. And let's not die from fall damage. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. It doesn't seem like the frame rate is dropping that much, but I'm getting a bit of stuttering here and there. Could just be the fact that I'm running OBS, but... Oh god, this staircase is too long. Is it going to end? Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Okay, well, we're going to be here for a while, it seems. Ah, there we go. The German word is Veloren with an extra R. The keybinds are not... Oh, they're not a problem? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'll, actually, I'll put it back then. I'll see, I'll see what you mean. Actually, no, that does make sense, because they're used in different contexts, aren't they? That makes sense. Okay, cool. Does sneaking do anything? We'll find out, won't we? I don't remember the top of my head, but I think the current one... Wait, the... Ballpark of 10 to 24 kilometers square... What in the world? Alright then. Dude, what are you? You're a... You're a gnarling. 
You are... No! Oh god, you, you use, use magic as well. And your magic seems much more dangerous than mine is. So we just play dodgeball with you, we're all good. Ah, uh, nope. Oh. There we go, okay. We got this. We got this, that's fine. Gnarled Rod, are you better than what I currently have? Right, I switched to I, didn't I? Oh no, it's just what I currently have. Okay. Oh god! You, oh. <laughs> okay, you are way too accurate. Come on. So, I should attack just after he uses... Wait, you can double shoot? Oh my lord, you are... Uh... You attack so quickly! <laughs> oh my lord, okay. Yep, that was gonna go well for me. Alright, um... Note to self, the ones with bows attack probably too quickly. Now we have to run back down here for five minutes. I wonder how much worse that would have went if I was the um, playing one of the melee classes. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm playing a caster, and casters are just not great right now. Oh, there is actually music playing. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I had my personal audio down really low. The shortcut further to Oh! Mate, get over here. There we go, got rid of him. Awesome. So... No reason to have both those equipped, because this is a two-hand... Oh, it says it's a two-handed weapon, but we... We hold it with one hand most of the time. Oh, I guess... We do hold it with two hands. Oh, okay. Is just me or does this game seem kind of boring from just watching? Maybe. I don't know. Keep in mind that it is still in the very early stages. So. There's uh, a lot that needs to be done. Staff kind of sucks until you learn Fireball Explosion Spell. Makes sense? Oh lord. Okay. You are annoying. Oh, you have that exact same attack as well. Oh my lord, okay. Oh, we can see their experience bar as well. Okay, cool. That thing attacks so much faster than I do. <laughs> but I can still train him and it's fine. There we go. Tab switch... Ah. Okay, that makes sense. So if you have two weapons equipped, you can swap between them. Oh, there's a... There's an axe. So we could go... Ah. Oh, that's cool. So there's no class in this game, as was mentioned earlier. The attacks are just based off of the weapons. Right. And then I presume there's also extra weapons for each of, like, the weapon types. That is a mushroom clipping through the wall. Alrighty. So that's one way down. Let's go this way. And let's... Wait, why are we doing this? Let's just glide down. It's easier. There we go. Uh, what's in here? Oh, there's a gnarling there. You are the melee ones. Oh, the melee ones are not very dangerous. Oh, nope. Change my mind. They can actually charge you, and that might be slightly dangerous. It's all good. If we just walk backwards, as long as there's one of them, nothing in this game super deadly. Yeah, it, it's certainly a good-looking game. Um, it might not be the most interesting at this stage for streaming. A coconut. 20 health over 10 seconds. Ah. 
Uh, let's eat it. There we go. Cool. I try to compile Valorant on one core, 1 1.6 gear. <laughs> oh my lord, yeah, no, that's a bad idea. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't compile anything on that computer. Um, uh, so we can go this way or that way. Let's go this way now. Oh, there's one hiding there. You're a caster. You, I probably shouldn't, uh, you know, be abusing the fact that the clip, the the camera clips through walls. Oh, you're another gnarling. Is the other one gonna follow me? Or is it? Nope. Oi. Nope. Oh. Nope. There. Okay. Old sturdy hammer. Ha. Uh, ah. You shopped your notebook. Yeah. That's that's one way to describe that. Oh, you. You gonna. You gonna come towards me? You just looking at me. What are you doing, mate? Hey. What are you doing? Nothing? Okay. Well, well, we'll go this way then. Uh... Oh, I thought that was a caster hiding in here. It was the, uh, it was that one. Well, there's nothing too much in here. There's... Whatever that's supposed to be. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll score this way. Resurrected with Linux. Yeah, that's good. That's one of the nice things about Linux. You just run it on a hold of hardware like that and... Oh, God, nope. I want a drink. Let me drink, damn it. You can just run on old old hardware like that and bring it back to life. Hmm. I like this music. I hadn't been paying too much attention to it before. I had the uh, volume too low. Okay, let's... Okay, we'll just let you charge. And... Nope, nope. Run away, run away. And when you charge, then we can smack you a bit and missed it. Of course I did. Aim a bit lower. There, okay. So, it seems like combat doesn't really work too well with more than um, more than one enemy. It gets very difficult to actually land hits, especially with the caster right now. Maybe it's better with the uh, one of the melee classes. Horror Spirit, what is that? Uh, can you please start streaming on DLive on this channel too? I prefer DLive over Twitch and YouTube. You can get crypto from it. Yeah, I do... I, I do know about DLive. It's just... Yeah, I, I need to set up my restream. It's one of those things that I've been just me uh, lazy to do for this channel. But I will get to it at some point. Uh, I, I switched from Windows to Arch two days ago. We went this way already. I would like to have some sort of like more localized map for this area. Maybe there's a way to do that. Okay, there's a nulling there. Can we... Can one of you pop out? Yeah, there we go. How does multiplayer work? I presume you connect to the same server or something, and then it you you, you play together. I, I presumably. There we go. Flimsy armor. Oh my. Even. Okay, so there's multiple bag spaces we can get. We just pretty much filled this up already. Um. Oh, so that has gotten more now. Maybe it's kills rather than. XP. I don't know. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, God. Nope. Nope. God. Okay, that will definitely chew your health away. Uh, let's not let them get anywhere near me. There are servers that you can connect to or host yourself. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. So I guess there's crits in this game. Loot cloth pads. Hey. Slightly more armor. Yeah. Oh, it's that... Wait. That added it to my my model. Nice. Uh, what is here? We have a mushroom. Wait, were the mushroom healing, healing items as well? Mushrooms are healing items. It's not very healing. Oh, God. No, it's the very dangerous one. God, this, out of distance, I guess we can fight this. But if I get too close, then it's basically game over with the archer. Oh my god, this thing is dangerous. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, it gave up. How are you doing, 
Victoria Lehane Gur. Whatever, whatever that name is. Oh. So I sort of have to pay attention when dealing with these archers. Ah, cool. Yeah, it might be one of those. I think in the, the current state it's in, it's definitely not ready to be like a a single player experience you play for that long. But as like a multiplayer thing, I think you'd still be able to have some fun from it. God, that did too, way too much damage. Uh, I'm I'm very bad. Oh, boots. They equip. We already have boots equipped. <clears throat> ah. Worn out sandals? Uh. Oh, they add poise. Okay. Let's eat another apple. Maybe we should have collected more apples before we came in here. You can craft. Oh! Oh! That's awesome! Thank you! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I'm guessing this. There's already a lot of. Oh god, there's there's clearly some sort of further game, way further than I am at this stage. That's that's impressive. Uh, we don't have a belt, do we? I guess we can make this. Craft. Uh. Wait. Oh, jeez, I just made two of them. That wasn't the intention. Oops. Um, guess we can drop that off and then take this one. It's green, so presumably it's going to be worth more. Official Brady Mind Test server host on Linode, of course. Absolutely, that'll be the plan. Uh, and we can make an apple stick. Oh, I should have been making the apple sticks then. Oh, I'm dumb. That's so much more, um, so much more healing than I was, than I was before. Awesome, okay. And what can we get rid of? I guess we'll get rid of... Hmm. Guess we get rid of this gnarled rod. There. Uh, oh god, okay. Oh god, it's another archer. Why is another archer? Uh, I guess we can put that in there now. Come on, mate. Come on. Where are you hiding? Oh, you just gave up? Whew. Okay. Sticks are useful later. Well, I guess I can get them from that forest outside of the town. Oh my god, you attack so quickly! Oh my god. Where is... That doesn't seem to attack where I'm actually aiming. That seems to attack where I was aiming. Hmm... I thought something was off earlier. Yeah, it definitely seems to be um, hitting where I was aiming. Maybe that's intentional. Oh, Lord. Nope. Come on. Okay, cool. Almost got you. Oh, you're just out of range. Damn. That was a massive waste. Yeah, Amy's a bit broken. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, it's not just that I'm horrendously bad, it, it actually is a problem. Uh, I guess we can take that one. There. And... Are you annoying one? Please don't be another annoying one. Please just have an axe or something. Yeah, good, that's fine. We can deal with you. Okay, if we knock you a bit while you're doing that, and smack you... Nope, get, get away from me, nope. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I, I am bad at aiming, but that felt like it was 
way worse than I normally would be. Okay, my inventory's full. Uh, I guess we can drop that for now. Eh, there we go. Blue Falcon. Oh, it's a new glider. Eh. Is there anything... I, I guess the fact that it's blue, it's better. Uh, we'll equip that one. Then we'll draw... I guess we'll take that one. There we go. Uh, it accounts for lateral movement when the shot goes out. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Right. I'm going to pretend like I, under I understand the maths, but I understand that it doesn't go in a perfectly straight line. That's what I understand. Oh, what is this? another mushroom type. This one's glowing pink for some reason. Oh, actually, it's a different mush- actually, it's a different mushroom. Oh. Oh, no, it wasn't. I just didn't have any in my inventory. <laughs> okay. Why did that go- Wait. Oh, are those extra inventory spots as well? Wait. No, they're not. Okay. Oh, God, what is that? Bone Rattler. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that might be a strat right there. I think I've worked out the best strat to deal with this enemy. Oh my god, that, that was dumb. Well, um, I'm going to leave it there. That's fine. <laughs> AI is not the brightest. I'm, I'm very much reminded of like early Minecraft where you could, uh, where you could get enemies to walk off of a uh, off a ledge. How do I get stuff out of this uh, tool bar down the bottom here? Or is it stuck there once it gets in there? Oh, I can just drag it out. Ah, oh. wait, I can't. What? I can drag it out here, but I can't drag it out when the menu's open. What? That's odd. Okay, sure. For now, gliders are basically just skins, but eventually differences are planned. If you get at least one iron piece of equipment, you should be able to sell it for a couple hundred coins and then buy a lot of gear. Ah, cool. Time to go towards that bone rattler and hopefully not get horribly murdered. Where are you hiding, mate? Oh, it actually died. <laughs> Alright, well that was easy enough. That's nothing? Okay, I thought that might have been something. Uh, oh my lord, there's a lot of enemies in here. Oh my god, there are so many. That one of them saw me. Nope, more than one of them saw me. Nope, I'm going up here. Nope. Uh, 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 come on. Oh, it can hit me through the wall. Lovely. Oh, the other one's gone? Okay. Come on, mate. Come on. That is so much damage. God, I don't like that. Oh my god, I don't like these enemies. Uh, how do I pick an amount? Oh, you... Yeah, I I worked out how to, like, sell, like, do the max amount, but I, yeah, I couldn't work out how to do an amount either. Oh my god, this thing is so close to me. Hopefully the caster does become a little better as the game goes on. Mate, you need to run out of arrows at some point. Have some sort of limitation that... Makes so you not super OP. But I, I, <laughs> I guess I have to accept it and just murder these enemies one by one. I think the, the combat is probably the weakest point of this game so far. Because there's no way to fight that entire group. You just die instantly. It's very easy to get, um, basically get locked in damage. I don't know if there's iframes between the damage. 
Um, and if you're up against archers, well, the archers seem... Their, their aim seems much more accurate than the player's aim. Oh, God, if I get the melee guy near me, I die. Really? Really? I'm gonna die, aren't I? <sighs> One health left. God, that was... That's so much damage. Uh, can we, can we deal with any more of these enemies? That, what are you, what are you? Don't be anything too bad. Melee? Melee's fine. We can deal with you. Assuming that you don't hit me and knock out my entire health bar. Upgrading the explosion fireball. Okay, good. I will do that. That sounds like the game will be playable then. Maybe early game is just very, very tedious. How much do I have left to get that one? Oh my god, I'm still so far away. Oh, yay. So that's, I'm guessing that's the explosion fireball. The one that is ruining my day when he uses it. Oh! Oh, there's terrain damage. How are you doing, Nemo? Because I am... Uh, yeah, my, my day is going wonderfully playing this game. Oh my god, this thing is annoying. Early combat is a pain. Absolute pain. And I'm going to die again. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll die and then go back to town. Well, the archers are just as annoying. I think the archers might be more annoying, to be honest. At least these guys... Nope, okay. If you get too close, then... How would you even defeat this guy with a melee character? I don't think it would be even possible. You would just die. Because he would just use that, um... That spell. I guess maybe you can train him or something until he runs out. There we go. Oh my lord. Um... How much did that give me? So that gave me... Oh my god, this... <laughs> It, it does... They have more stun potential? Okay. Ah, okay. So it might not be as bad with that then. So, yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. That I see what you mean by the stun potential. Mm. Also, this guy will uh, make me bleed, which is good. Nope, and I'm dead. Ha <sighs> Okay. No, okay, I think I'll be fine. With one health? Yeah, cool. Um We'll see how far we can actually get. You can also you also use the middle row wait, you can also Why did no one tell me that earlier? Oh my god. <laughs> really? Why did no one tell me that earlier? I know, I know there are devs in, I know there are devs here right now. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh my god. Why did no one tell me that earlier? Oh, nope. And we're dead. <sighs> well, um...
That's supposedly difficulty zero. <laughs> You're a test subject for improvements. I guess, okay, I guess that's fine. Um, let's up, up the, um... The... Gamma, I guess? Oh, now we can actually see. That's great. Cool. I'm sure that's much more pleasant for you guys now. We're going to leave that dungeon for the moment. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is the other entrance to it. I guess this was the, uh, the entrance you were mentioning. What in the world is... Wait, why is... Why are those floating? Uh huh, uh huh. I don't like you. Go away. Yeah, I, I do like the new glider. Right, I don't have any uh, stamina, so that's not going to do much. Nope, run this way. Haha, -ha, gotcha. At a distance, we're at fairly matched. Relatively so. Close, close combat, he fires way too quickly. Wait, I'm bleeding? He has bleed on him? Of course he does. Why would he not have bleed on him? There we go. There we go. So if we aim slightly above him, that should work out. Yeah! Green linen chest. Do we have a chest plate? Is that chest plate better? Uh, got that. Why didn't I drop the chest plate? Actually, that wouldn't... Yeah, that's better. Good. Perfect. Oh, we, we look fancy now. Uh, yeah, I've got I've got potions and um, some other healing items. It's just I'm trying to conserve them for when I actually might need them. Oh, no! Oh, get over here! Oh. God damn it. There we go. That was <laughs> that's one way to get back here. Where'd the other one go? Wait, can we pick that up? Okay, my inventory is full. Um What is that? Is there anything? A oh, honey? Honey. Where did the what other thing was called? The gnarled? I don't know. Because this was the entrance I guess we were intended to take. Well. Um. You've been playing Mind, mind, mind Industry? Mindustry? I, I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. I'm guessing Mindustry. Oh, the cast was so much easier to dodge. Oi, how are you? You shouldn't be able to hit me. I'm going to go back to the town. How many... Okay, we've almost gotten to the point where um, our skill points don't entirely suck. Uh, map. Town. That way. That way? That way. Okay. Oh, sunflowers. Might as well just take these. And, I don't know, sell them or something. Uh... Oh, I'm enjoying it. It's just the combat is uh, a little tedious, to say the least. Maybe it'll be better once I have the explosive uh, attack. But, at least in this current state, as a caster... Oh, God, what are you? I wasn't expecting to get a...
Okay. <laughs> oh my lord. <sighs> oh, okay, so there's other dungeons there. Hmm. Let's go back to the town. Try try not to die. So we can sell some items. Because that seems to be the nearest town. Because we don't see any others on the map nearby anyway. Oh, there's the Pebrot Fortress, but that's ages away. Well, I'm logged into the server, and I'm guessing you have to be logged in to actually play the game. But you can host your own server. Uh, I couldn't see any way to play without logging into the server. Red flower. Red flower. Red flower. Do these flowers respawn? Or do they, or are they always go on once I take them? Same with these apples. I wonder. Uh, what can we drop? What's not important? Uh, I guess we can drop that one. Oi! I don't want that. Get away. Come on. There we go. Good. Uh, is there a way to, like, set a waypoint? No, we can't set a waypoint by the looks of it. But we can get more apples, which is good. That's, that's going to be our main healing item by the looks of it. Uh, oh, apples on a stick, I guess, at least. This is a pretty game, though. So, we should better go back, sell some items. Um, do the bees do anything? I guess not. No, the bees don't do anything. I, I jump into the bees before asking if they do anything. Oh, I'm very smart. Um... We'll check out that cave as well. See, what, see what's going on there. Uh, but I want to go back, sell those items. Or sell, sell something at least. See if we can get some potentially better equipment, maybe. I, we are going in the right direction? We are, yes. Okay. wonder if we had to glide down from here. wonder if it's high enough. There shouldn't be another hill in the way, surely. Surely not. Oh, no, okay, they I guess those might be pick, uh, pick up -able? I Caves have a lot, of, a lot of monsters in them. So does the dungeon. Are you saying that that's a bad idea? Oh, twigs. Oh, what is that? Anything? What are you? Oh, I thought it was an enemy. No, it was just a flower that hadn't rendered properly. Yeah. What are you? Peacock. Surely the peacock doesn't attack me. Yeah, easy. Why does the peacock drop mushroom? Whatever. What are we going to do it anyway? Uh. That's lovely. The rolling hills are beautiful. Uh, if we angle that way... We should theoretically just be able to fly back to town. So how are you guys doing? Oh god, no, it's we're falling. We've, okay, we have to hold W if we're going to do this. Cool, that's fine. How are you guys doing? This is just the most effective form of travel. Who needs to walk? <sighs> Press... Is that gonna make me fall? Okay. Wait, there's an auto walk key. Alrighty then. Okay, now what we want to do... Now what we want to do is we want to... We want to angle it so we start falling. Yeah, there we go. 
And we want to fall faster. Damn it. Let me let me just crash into the ground. There we go. That's what we want to do. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. It really tries to stop you crashing into the ground. Which is good if you're like trying not to kill yourself. But if you are... Gets in my way a little. Uh, perfect. God, the gamma is way too high now. Uh, okay, uh, that one. One. There we go. Perfect. I'm sorry. Why is there a, a giant man-eating plant here? Why does the man-eating plant cast fireballs? I don't know if it's a man-eating plant. It just looks like a plant. Well, this is new. Um, I guess we have a new resident in the town since I left. And it dropped a flower. I guess it might be a plant. Uh, do we have anything new we can craft? Agile kickers. Guessing they're better than what we have. And we don't have any... Uh, leather We have four leather straps So that gives us four armor That gives us two armor The gauntlets are going to be better Look at this We're finally becoming a A reasonable uh, Reasonable warrior uh, Where's our merchant What in the world is that Is this the same village we were in at the start? It... I guess so. There's an undead there. Alright, undeads may not necessarily be evil. Right, of course. Because, you know, we can play as one. Merchant, where you at? I want to sell you some stuff. Wait, is this even the same town we were at before? Or is this a different town? Presumably it's the same town. It looks like it's in the same place. So this merchant should be somewhere. Are those flowers clipping through the wall? Those are flowers clipping... Oh, no, they're supposed to be... They're... Okay, they're supposed to be on the wall. Right, okay. Uh... Where is the merchant at? Where are you at, merchant? You are undead. It would be nice to see the merchant on the map somewhere. Can, wait, can we trade with other people? I wonder... Oh, okay, no, we can't. Maybe, well, at least that person. Maybe we can trade with other people. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, we can stand in the fireplace. All right, then. Perfect. I love it. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we going? I want to find this merchant. Thing up there, the chest. Uh, okay. What, what? What if? Wait. If we move this over here, drop that over there. And what if we try to grab it now? <laughs> well, okay. That works. Uh, what don't we need? All of these are very useful. Why do we have a staff in there? Uh, I guess we can get rid of the agile belt. Sure. Um, there's so many empty vials. We don't even need to keep them. Where is this merchant? Surely he hasn't just left. That looks very dangerous. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked it. Use the vials to craft potions. That, yeah, well that makes sense. Oh my god, I'm back up here. Hmm. Well, ah, okay, that's, 
Ah, okay. Awesome. Okay. That so apples are even more useful now. Well, um, I don't know what happened to the merchant. I couldn't find him anywhere. Maybe I should have gone down the hill further and uh, went to the checkpoint. I thought the rabbit was going to try to attack me. Hey, that's that's an item that makes sense. Merchants don't always spawn? Uh-huh, okay. <clears throat> so, there's not much I can do about this inventory at, at this point. Um, guess we can take the lettuce. Sure. Let's get all these sunflowers. Mushroom! Uh, well, I guess we can try to farm the animals out here to get, to get myself a bit more experience. Because the animals aren't going to be as threatening. The fox might be. What's the fox going to do? Fox will attack? Okay, good. Uh, you can craft a sewing set using that, and you craft extra pouches. I can craft a... Uh... Sewing set. So we need stones as well. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. So, let's get rid of... I guess we can get rid of the... Put the cheese up. Uh, put cheese there. Wait, I have cheese in the menu already. My bad. Uh, drop that one out. Uh, I guess we can get rid of the agile belt because we need the leather straps because that's gonna help us get the um the other things we need. Are those okay? Good. I thought they were more lions. Um, raccoon. That is a giant raccoon. Get back here. Oi. Oi, a raccoon. No. Nah. Oi. Get back here. There we go. Well, that was dwarven cheese. Well, that's not a leather strap, but that's fine. Slowly but surely, we're getting more experience. I wonder where I can get stones from. Hmm. Oh, what are those? Anything? Squirrels. Murder the squirrels. God, these squirrels have a lot of health. And they have probably a very tiny hitboxes as well. Probably not the best thing to be choosing to murder. Oi! Oh my god, it's fast as well. Well, it is a squirrel, so that doesn't make sense. Uh-huh. Uh, stones can be found randomly on the ground near bigger rocks. Okay. Okay, okay. Stones by... Wait, stones by lakes. Okay, stones by lakes. And by boulders. Okay. Uh, so, like, that would be a boulder, presumably. If I'm, if I'm understanding correctly. So we may find them near these things. Uh, none there? Okay. What is that? It's a truffle. Ah! Right, menu's full. Or the uh, inventory's full. Um, get rid of that one. Cool, thank you. Mm, doo, doo, doo. Cool. Uh, how many do we need? Oh, we have enough. Used to craft various items, right? Okay. Okay. 
Ah, okay. And then we can get more of those. And we can make a tiny leather pouch. Okay. Oh, it's a white fox. Come here. There, perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm getting the hang of this game. Slowly. Slowly but surely. Uh, I guess we can consume the, the lettuce. There we go. Uh, stones? Well, I guess we can pick them up for now in case we need them later. Is that one clipping through the ground? I think it might have been. So what's that dungeon over there? Oh, that is the really hard dungeon. Let's not go to that one. So I'm guessing with the uh, the enemies that were attacking the town earlier, that from time to time, like different thing or different events may spawn there. If I'm understanding correctly. Dwarven cheese, perfect, yep. Oh god. Uh what is this? That is a donkey. Donkey does has a lot more health than the uh the little animals, that's for sure. And it's also quite fast. Does it run away at any point? Yes. And we got leather straps, cool. God it is taking forever to get Woo, we're, all, we're almost there for general. We're a little bit more on that one as well. Okay. Ah, that increases our rolls. Okay. Hmm, that one's not super useful, I guess. Hmm, we'll work that out afterwards. Oh, yeah, it's going nighttime again. Um, I guess because it's nighttime, we might as well go back to the dungeon then. No reason to really stay outside. Uh outside then we can get a bit more experience from in the dungeon as well what is this is that a mushroom yes uh where's the entrance here oh no it's a donkey <laughs> oh we can save there perfect So these aren't marked on the map. We just sort of have to work it out for ourselves. Seems a bit odd in my mind. I would I would think you'd put the waypoints on the map. It's taken us two hours, but we've sort of gotten to the point where we have some sort of um some sort of flow that we're going with now. What is that? That looks dangerous. I'm going to hit it. Oh, it... Yep, that's very much up the dangerous category. Yep, uh, nope. Well, we're right near the save point anyway, so it's not a big problem. So we can just, like, keep chipping away at his health and see what it's going to give us. Oi. Oh, I thought it was going to keep attacking. I guess it is just classed as an animal rather than an enemy. Eh, no. <laughs> oh my god. Let me hit it. There. Dwarven cheese. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's go back over here. That seems like the entrance over there. Apple! Yeah, there we go. We're back now. Usually I try to, like, keep the stream going with some sort of, like, general topics, but I'm sort of just learning this game as I'm going. I didn't see those there before, so I guess they're like a a new a new event or something. Maybe they were here the entire Oh, the enemies in here respawn? Ah. Oh, makes sense. I didn't realise. Oh my oh god. Oh Jesus, three of them. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez, that's not good. That is not good at all. Well, they're dead. 
Um... Well, they're dead, I'm dead. That's how that works. Uh, settings. Graphics. Gamma. There we go, better. So, where's the entrance? The entrance was over here somewhere? Yes. It's good that it's far enough away where you're not going to get, like, spawn trapped there. But I guess you could actually train them over, couldn't you? And then you might be in a bit of a... Bit of a sticky situation. Oi. Uh, there's another one up there. How close are we? Yeah, we're getting very close for that one. Okay, the game's about to get slightly more playable now. Oh, the game is quite difficult. But not because it's des designed to be difficult. The combat's just... Yeah, the, the combat's just... Yeah. <laughs> um... Rolling uses 20% less stamina. More stamina. Climbing speed. Uh, climbing's not super useful by the looks of it. I guess we can get... Oh, you can't even really get that much of a boost, can you? Dodging avoid melee, uh, avoids melee attacks. Yes. Perfect. That is exactly what we need. Roll, roll or stamina. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh my god. It doesn't help with this thing because it's still a absolute pain to deal with. Oh my god. Once we get the cast, hopefully it'll be slightly less annoying to deal with this thing. And it, it also can do bleeding, which is lovely. Okay, okay, we're almost done with you. Yeah, the, the attack speed on, on these enemies is way too high. I would turn it down at least like 20 or so percent minimum. How close are we to getting this one? Okay, not we're at 92, so... Just around the corner. Uh, what are you? Oh my god, it's the annoying one. And for some reason, it's not hitting me. I guess I'm just attacking at the right time that in its cycle where it's not a big problem. Yeah, oh. There, good, okay. It's fine. Yeah, take this out. This is going to be very useful in here. Uh, mushroom. Perfect. Right, so I was saying before that I try to keep the stream somewhat entertaining when I'm playing a game, but um, yeah, it, it's basically just evolved into me not having any idea what I'm doing. Um, on that note, now that I sort of roughly have an idea what I'm doing, two hours into the stream, uh, did you guys know that Luke Smith actually has a, uh, a Matrix server? <laughs> Someone let me know in my uh, Discord the other day. But yeah, uh, Luke is actually on Matrix, which is certainly uh, unexpected. Coming from the guy who claims not to use the internet very much. He seems very active in the Matrix. Uh, he was actually... <laughs> he ended up banning one of the guys who's been like a, uh, a persistent pest over in my server. Who just consistently shows up. No one wants him around. Uh, but he keeps, he keeps bringing his head back. And yeah, uh, I recommend checking it out. You're gonna get very, uh, very 4chan y sort of comments in there, but hey, if you if you want that, then yeah, <laughs> that is that is the place to go. Uh, come on, mate. One more. Oh god, there's two casters in here. Is there? Oh no, there's a. There's one caster, and the other one has a bow and arrow. Oh my god, they basically trapped me. Yes! Perfect! I don't, I don't even realize how many... Well, I don't even know how many people are still here, to be honest. 
Because I'm not, I'm not doing my, uh, my, my best job at streaming today. <laughs> I've certainly done more entertaining streams. Uh, but I'm, I'm definitely enjoying the game, at least. Which is one thing. Okay, come on, mate. Come on. One more hit. And... Oh. When I, when I can eventually do the hit. Yay! Okay. Finally. <sighs> so, explosion when fire just isn't enough. Explosion radius. Well... Shockwave? Is it explosion or shockwave that we should go with? Uh, well, that's pretty useless, getting that one. I guess we'll go... I guess we'll go explosion. So now we have that attack. Okay. Good. Now things should be slightly less painful. I, even if I don't hit things, I'll still do damage to them. This is how we traverse. Perfect. Perfect strats. Mushrooms. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we can deal with these guys. Oh, that's... That seems much better. It seems like it does more damage... Or it, even if we miss them, it still does damage, which is makes the combat significantly better. Wow! That should be the default. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so depending on how close the hit is, uh, determines how much damage it does. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we... Mmm. That's good. What is this enemy doing? Uh, is it stuck behind that wall? I think it is. Purple linen straps. I presume they're not better than... What I had on. We'll work out. We'll find out in a moment, though. Now the combat's actually... Usable. Lovely. Uh, oh. Nope. Nope. Okay, I say that and then I... I put myself in a situation where I'm going to die. Well, ignore everything I just said. Uh, were those... Oh, the purple linen... Linen wrist were way worse than what I had. Now we need to go back and get those. Because I don't want to lose those. Unless we have another one? We don't have another one. Because I chucked them away, didn't I? <sighs> ha! See you later, Eric. We'll see how much longer I decide to go for. I don't know. We'll work it out later. Uh, don't know if I'll do my usual uh, four hours of this, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, no, nothing there that's worth taking. So if we go down the staircase... Yeah, there we go. Down there. Go down that staircase. You can just... I realised that, I just for I, yeah, I kind of forgot I had them. And I was, yeah. Sort of saving them. We we'll use that as my excuse. Yeah, I was saving them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, coconut. I think my inventory's full. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Uh, come on. Come on, there. Missed him. Perfect. Okay, good. What do you have? Spectre of Regeneration. Oh, sep Spectre? Oh my god, I'm dumb. Scepter of Regeneration. Wow, Brody. Learn to read. Which is... Cool and all, but, you know, we're not actually using a scepter. Um, so, that's not going to help out. Mushroom. I'm going to go back and get my gauntlets. Then we will... Maybe try to leave this area? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my gauntlets should be over here, I think. Yes. Oh my god, that's... That was a bad idea. 
this was a very bad idea. Oh my... <laughs> well, at least the explosions can deal with these guys in a group now. Uh... Oh, shit. Okay, right. We can roll, can't we? Forgot about that. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Remember that I can roll. <laughs> uh, I think we've lost those now. I think we're not going to find them. Come on, there we go. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Those are down. Okay, we can we can deal with this. Yeah, almost almost there. Perfect. One more one more to go. One more to go. Whew. Cloth straps. Nice. Oh, cloth scraps. Uh, I don't remember where I dropped that item before. Every dungeon has a boss at the lower level. Ah, well, that makes sense. It is a dungeon. That's typically what dungeons have. I could just remake those agile nonsense, couldn't I? Yeah. I don't know why I'm worrying so much. I could just do that. <laughs> oh, wait. That was the wrong item. Wow, I'm dumb. <sighs> Agile Gauntlets was the one I was supposed to remake. But, you know... That's fine. That's fine. Only forgetting how the mechanics are working very early on. Surely gonna only go well from here. Bladed branch. What is that? Is that different from... Is that a star? No, it's a sword. Okay. Well, it makes sense. It's bladed. Um... I wonder what we'll get from afterwards. Oh, okay, you can increase damage or stamina gain. No. It seems like rolling isn't any faster than your normal walking speed, but it does have iframes on it. Oh my god, that stun is so bad. It seems... I'm guessing that the, uh, the enemy combat isn't handled any differently from the player combat. Which... Leads to issues. Um, God, nope. I am going to waste my potions dealing with one of these guys again. <laughs> we can't go into that room because that's going to have a new enemy in it. Come on, come on. There, that's what I wanted. There, oh, purple linen belt. Well, that's, gonna, that's the awful item we had. Um... Let's see. Uh, I guess the other... Do the other dungeons have different enemies in them? Or are they all going to be these nullings? Because I... Uh, there's, there will come a point where fighting these nullings over and over again is going to drive me insane. Every dungeon has their own enemy type? Ah, oh, okay. Cool. Uh... How much? Uh... You know, we could just try to run to the bottom of it, couldn't we? That's one... Uh, that's one method. But it's not much different, okay. So they're just, like, different versions of, like, the same sort of combat system. Yeah, I don't think I... I don't think the, um... Yeah, I would expect it to be changed. It's sort of like a proof of concept that you have these enemies working. Oh, no, no, go... Oh, we don't have... We didn't have any stamina to get out of that. That could have been bad. And you're dead. Uh... Anything in here? Oh, another nulling. You're just immediately one though. Not a big threat. We know how to deal with you. As long as I stop being dumb, 
And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't gonna happen. Uh, oh my god, I've destroyed this dungeon so much. Come on. Oh, god. Come on. There. Nope. Let me hit you. There, perfect. Come on, one more, and then you're dead. Surely. Okay. Uh, the other room here, this was empty, wasn't it? There wasn't any way to go down. I think we've just hit a dead end. Oh, this way. Oh. Oh, yes, there is an area we can go in here. Cool. When I get to the point where uh, I've run out of potions and run out of healing items, I think that's when we have to stop with this dungeon. Which will come probably sooner than expected. No, oh, no, oh, no. Okay. I feel so bad having to leave all those items on the ground. Like, I am the sort of person who will just constantly run back to town and go to a merchant and be like, Hey, let me sell items, let me sell items, let me sell items, let me sell items. Uh, but because the merchant isn't always there, I, I can't do that. Plus, the town's really far away. We're almost dead. Oh god, that was not close enough. All hail the Linux game? Yes, all hail Linux. I should check where I am so I don't get stuck on an item on the floor, I guess. Come on, let me deal with you. Oh god, let me... Nope, come on. There we go, cool, you're dead. Why did the tutorial move? What is go- Uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, is that- Is that intentional? <laughs> I- I- I feel like this might not be intentional. Where are we going? This way. Okay, good. <laughs> Any idea why that happens? Uh, wait, was that another dead end? I'm I'm so lost in here. Oh no, this is where we're going. Yes. Okay, let's deal with you here. The enemies seem like very glidey on the floor as well. I did click it before, but it didn't go away. Oh, do I have to click? Oh, I had to click close. I was clicking escape and it... It probably should go away if you click escape as well, I reckon, but... I guess you want to make sure people actually click the button properly. And actually, yeah. I can see why it's there, actually. That sort of does make sense. Um, take the healing item so we can get through a bit further. Coding GUIs is hard. Yeah, uh, I've had a bit of experience with it. Um, oh, that roll will help out. When I use it at the right time. You have a flamethrower? I am a flamethrower. Nope. Come on. Uh. <laughs> uh nope, missed you. Come on. There we go. No, let me hit you. Ridden in Rust? Yes, the game is Ridden in Rust. Cool. Uh, how much experience do we have? God, now that I've... Oh my god. Oh, it's a chest! Will they attack... Does sneaking work? 
By the looks of it, possibly. Hey, look, it, it actually does work. That's cool. I was not expecting that. That, Yeah, I was definitely not expecting that. Oh, it's the... My favorite enemy. This is... If anyone knew here, here's how you defeat a bone rattler. You, uh... You trick it into running off the edge. Because it's really dumb. Come on. There you go. You, you know you want to do it. Come on, you know you want to do it. Come on. Come here, boy. It's not going to do it now, is it? There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and then as it tries to, like, come back up the stairs, it will probably fall off again. Come on, you know you want to do it. Come here, boy. There we go. <laughs> Uh, pro strats right here. The AI is not the brightest. Wait, oh, yep, there we go. Now it's dead. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of not the brightest. Um, yours truly. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay, well, it's daytime now. And we're almost out of potions anyway, so let's go get some items. Twigs. Oh my god, the cows have a lot of health. Yeah, I did deserve that. Uh, twig. Uh, I guess we can find the twigs near the big... Um, any of, near any of the stumps, I guess twigs will be located. My render distance must be set really lowly. Leather from cows. You can get leather from lots of things. Like this thing will drop leather. Or, or is or is leather scraps different from just leather? So like leather scraps there. I don't know. Let's find out. I want to kill a cow. Give me a cow. Well, I kept two of them. That was not the plan. Top three FOSS games. Uh, Xenotic, Urban Terror. Mm. <sighs> Picking a third one's kind of hard. Maybe Assault Cube. I, as you can probably tell, I like FPS games. I don't play them that often, but I like them. That's not to say Cube World's... Uh, cube. Um, Velerin. <laughs> not to say Velerin's bad. It's just, uh, still definitely needs a lot of work. Maybe one day it will end up being one of my favourites. You know, not... The state it's currently in, though, yeah, it's... It, it still needs work. Which isn't a bad thing, because it, it's definitely quite good in the state it's in. Honestly, I'd be more surprised if in a pre-alpha, it was more complete than it was. It's still surprisingly complete for a pre-alpha, though. There we go. Uh, I was looking for items to craft something earlier. Right, I wanted a leather pouch, didn't I? Tiny leather pouch. I need six. Well, as it would happen, there's some cows over here, so I might as well just murder all of these. Oh, if I hold down the mouse button, it will keep attacking. Okay, I don't have to click every time. Cool. Good to know. I w That might have been why I was attacking really slowly as well. Because, yeah, I was clicking each time. I'm not used to playing MMOs, so I... Didn't even realize that was a thing. But I, I know a lot of MMOs do a similar thing to this. 
Oh, that makes combat so much easier. Oh my god, why did I not realize this earlier? Wow, that was a good shot. These actually give a lot of damage. Oh, they a lot of da these give a lot of uh, experience. They do a lot of damage as well. Um, <laughs> come on. Nope. Uh, uh, nope. All right, I could just roll up the hill, couldn't I? And using this attack recovers my stamina. So, yeah, that's... So do a couple of hits, and then you can roll up the hill, and then good. Yeah, that's how this works. That should be six there, I think. Wrong menu. Uh, tiny leather pouch. Where does... That goes in the bag slot. Which is... The back, I guess. Oh, you have to right click on it. It gives you more menu space. Lovely. And how. Wow, that actually gave a lot of experience, didn't it? I guess we just sit here and murder these cows. This is way better experience than we're getting in the dungeon. I feel like Linux games should come in app images. What do you think? It does help with the dependency issues. But this game sort of deals with that by not having dependency issues. <laughs> uh, it has the, the updater. But apart from that, you don't really... You don't need anything else. At least nothing that I didn't already have installed. Well, that has a... That, um, the SP bar on this thing seems massive, but it doesn't have any attacks to use SP. Maybe it will at some point. I installed it with, um, so I installed the updater, and then I used the updater to install the game. The updater that I'm forgetting the name of. Um. Someone who is a dev who might still be here. Whatever the updater was called. <laughs> There's not much of a sound effect to the the fireballs. Like, it seems like when you yeah when you consecutively cast the air shifter, thank you. When you consecutively cast, it seems like it just doesn't bother with the sound a lot of the time. Odd. Just always drop that item. Oh, we're almost okay. We're almost leveled up. Wow, these cows are so much better experienced than the dungeon. Fair enough, we'll still choose app images for games or shared game libraries. Yeah, no, that's fair. In a lot of cases, it is going to be much better. Yeah, I, I, I can't help you on the sound effects front. That is not something I have any experience with. I know there are, like, a lot of... Um, public domain sounds you could use as, like, placeholders until you find something, you know, more fitting. Which would alleviate the problem of, you know, not having menu sounds, things like that. Yay! Skill points! Uh... Okay, cool. So... General combat, I guess. Roll for 20... Ah, okay. So that, that will make the roll faster. Right. Uh-huh, okay, okay. Guess we take that one. Then general combat... Uh, 
Hmm. Guess we unlock Shockwave. Now, how do we use it? Oh, wow, that's fancy. Settings. <laughs> oh, Gamma is maxed out. Okay. Oi. But it's a very slow attack, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. I have a little experience. Actually, no, I do have a little experience actually making sound effects. Not not to the point where I'd actually be happy using them in a game. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 can, I can see how doing something of that extent actually would be an issue. Uh, we've got Gauntlet. Okay, put that on there. Uh, back to the dungeon. <laughs> Are we going back to the dungeon again? Um, maybe, actually, no, you know, I said I was going to go to the cave earlier. So I'm going to go to the cave, and we're going to see how bad it actually is. Oh, apples. No, let me turn around. Come on. Come on. Eh, okay, cool, King. I love how far the reach is. I, I was confused about it before, but yeah, it, it does help with those really tall trees. Because for some of them, you just wouldn't be able to get the items on them. Honestly, I would... Just put items up there, just to be annoying. <laughs> have you tried the Godot game engine? Uh, I haven't used it personally, but I do know some people who have a lot of experience with it, who really do like it. Oh, it looks more experience. <laughs> I haven't done, like, much development in a, quite a while. Like, I've sort of just been doing the YouTube thing and just enjoying that. <laughs> Probably should get back into doing something, you know, slightly productive with my time. Uh, is there issues with GPL3 that... Is, is there any reason why you couldn't use something in the public domain? I don't, I don't know if there would be. I presume there wouldn't be. Okay, there we go. Cool. Now, let's find out what's in that cave. Right, it was dot to do... Ah, auto walking. What a great feature. You realise your map is too big. And you just... You just add a, a key to automatically walk. Beautiful. I can appreciate that. Oh, God. Okay, I can reach it. Uh, stones? Oh, there must be a boulder. Stones and twigs. I haven't found those together before. More stones. Um, stones! Ah, oh, there's... There's a boulder in the tree. The issues with sound effects is more that we... Don't have many people working on creating them and connect... Ah, okay. And connect them with in-game events. Right. That, yeah, that would be a issue. Um... Stone? Oh, flowers. Now. Uh, what should be... We, we've got... Crafton's Hammer. I guess this gives us the ability to craft more items. Craft. Oh, pickaxe. I wonder what that does. Mortar and pest. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we can make fireworks. Lovely. Um... I was full speed game game, but Linux got the best of me. Windows exclusive game engines, yeah, that's fair. Um, it's more, it, but it's a moving target. Only last week I did some improvements to the bow that add more sound. Ah, oh, yeah, I have, I have noticed there's been a lot of the um, 
the the dev blogs coming out, which is cool. That's that's always something I can appreciate where there is always like communication from the team, not just like hey, we're just doing something. Uh, we're not telling you what we're doing, but we're just doing something. So I, I can appreciate that for sure. Um, so that's gonna be a new scepter. Can't make that yet. Sand raptor wings. Um, okay. All right. The the iron pickaxe was the other item I wanted to craft. So we need more stones to get that one. Ah, uh, blogs. I didn't. Did I say vlog? I meant blog. Uh, there should be some stones here, surely. Somewhere around here. I don't know if they have videos in them. I haven't actually looked at them. I just saw that there were blogs. Mushroom. I do appreciate the fact there are some, like... I think I mentioned this earlier. The fact that there's some ambient sounds, like, at night. Rather than just being, like, dead silent. Ah, oh, awesome. Yeah, I don't think you have to be streaming everything like some people do, but it is nice to see that there are, like, updates. Uh, that... <laughs> As I said, it's just nice to see updates at all. Ah, there we go. Save point. Does the pickaxe do anything at this point? I do have the music enabled. At least I should. I hadn't turned it off. Yeah, it's enabled. There's just none playing right now for whatever reason. Um... Okay. Uh, why did I fall? What? I oh, wanted to take damage there. I had the glider up. Th yes, this is what we have come to. I can clearly see the cave on the map. I'm not sure where the entrance to it is, though. Mushroom. Let's collect gems. Yes. Okay. Awesome. I saw there were some other crafting recipes that we can, uh, that we can get that have gems that are a part of them. Ooh. Nothing? Okay. Uh... There's the music. I do... Uh, yeah, I, I do like the music. The music is really good. Come on, where... I'm like... I'm circling around this entire cave and I cannot find the entrance. Hmm. Oh, I thought it was a thing. Yeah, th I like this. This is good. Unless this is the entire cave. <laughs> Which wouldn't be uh, much of a cave. What is that, honey? That is honey. Eh. There we go. It would be cool if you, like, throw, like, a, a range attack at something like that if it fell. I don't know. It'd be a, just a neat little, neat little touch. Uh, well, this cave was a, a big nothing burger by the looks of it. Oh, it is called a hole, so maybe that actually was just basically nothing. Maybe those ones were more. Hmm. Caves are pretty big? Okay, maybe I'm just... 
Maybe I'm just blind. Cause that's that's where the the marker for the cave actually is. Okay, okay, it should be here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's around. Maybe it's right there. Yeah, that would. Ex yeah, that might be a cave. Oh, yep. Okay, that that looks more cavey potentially. Nope. Okay, that's not the entrance. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's down. Maybe it's further down the mountain. Ah, oh, okay. We see. Ah, yeah. Okay, we're seeing more now. Ah, okay. There we go. Now we found what looks like a cave. Um. I want to get a pickaxe before I go in there. I need I think I need one more stone. Two more stone. Why did that horse wait, why are those horses almost dead? Did they take full damage or something? I think they might have. Oh my lord! Alright. Um Okay, so, note to self, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> on hills, things may not be as they seem. Have to look around a bit more. Sunflower, 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 sunflower. Lots of sunflowers. Oh! That's cool. Oh, that's nothing? Okay. Uh, sadly, no. I've been trying to break the game here and there, but I haven't found anything. It's just been... stable. Which is good for the devs, but I'm sure they'd appreciate, like, feedback on something that's broken. Oh, hey, Will, how you doing? Wondered when you are going to show up. Is that horse gonna give up? Come on, let's see if I can trick him. Ah, uh, that was not the plan I was going for. I wanted to get in that tree. <laughs> yes, it does really look like Cube World. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many sunflowers. I presume they're used in a recipe that I just haven't worked out yet. Same with these red flowers, wow. God, there's so many of them. Don't give me items to pick up. So, <laughs> too many items. Uh, I'm gonna have to do anything else. Uh, let's see. Right, we're looking for the entrance to that cave. We found it, right? Chicken. Is that chicken gonna attack? Me? Wow, that's a dumb chicken. Okay, so the enemies that are supposed to drop food items temporarily are dropping mushrooms, I guess. Because ha the other items haven't been um, coded into the game yet. That makes sense. I was wondering why everything was dropping mushrooms. Or dwarven cheese. But there's just nothing else at this point. Also, yeah, the, the music also lovely in case you didn't heard it before. Twig. I thought that was a boulder. Yes, it's actually a thingy. Um, a, um, a tree. A tree. Ah, that's right. I'm guessing you're referring to the other food items thing I said. Is this like Minecraft Zelda mashup? Sh sure, I guess that's one way to look at it. Um, have you not heard of Cube World? Do you not remember the big, like, pseudo-controversy with that game? Well, like, the game got announced years and years and years ago, and then nothing happened with it. Uh, we should make some healing items. Um, one more stone. I must have picked one out before. Different drops in crafting materials. Ah. 
stone! Yes! There we go, finally! Oh, was, and now I find three of them just laying around. God damn it. Four of them. Of course. Yep. Well, I got there eventually. Alright, oh, yeah, there was a full version as well. Right, yeah, that... That, that existed, didn't it? Yeah. Because isn't it on, um... Isn't it on, like, Steam Early Access at this point? The ge <laughs> a game that just isn't being developed anymore. It's just like, oh yes, Early Access works, sure. Okay, now how quickly do we die in here? That is the question. Stop. Alright, well... I could have just come in here to get the stones, couldn't I? Presumably there mu might be other mushroom types. Maybe they're just always intended to be the same thing. Um, why is that in there? It's dumb. We don't need, we don't need that in there. Go away. Go away. No. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, what do they just do there? Oh, okay, no. So we can't just put it there. We actually do have to equip it as a weapon. Okay, if we go tab. Ah, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. It actually can get very Minecrafty, it seems. Well, the game is now Minecraft. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, perfect. Okay, so these things we can mine. But they don't seem to... These ones don't have anything in them by the looks of it. Uh-huh. Okay. Go, go down. Yeah, I, I presume I'm going to die very soon. Oh, yeah. That's a Cyclops. That's going to probably one-shot me. Yep, this is going to go well for me, I bet. This was a brilliant idea. Oh no, now oh no. Oh my god, this is not a good idea at all. Okay, we get him out of the cave. I, w I wanna see if I can kill this guy. Well now that he's out here, I he's not gonna go back in, I presume. This was a uh... This was not my intention. Yeah, I know I can roll. Gotta use those Dark Souls strats. My god, this actually is turning into Dark Souls now. Someone joked about that earlier. And I ran out of stamina. Maybe he just wants to be friends. Maybe. Uh, turn the ex the gamma back down. Now. Maybe it was the ambient brightness I was supposed to be turning up, not the not the gamma. Yeah, I think that's that's what I was supposed to be turning up. That's fine. It works out either way. I want to kill that thing. Ah, oh, it's still out here. Haha, <laughs> perfect for me. It's just gonna chill out here now.
There we go. He's dead. Flowery wraps. Um, that is a hand. Ah, nice. Cool, we have better equipment. Well, that cave's probably going to be a, a bit of a no-go. But at least we know we can go where it is now. To some extent. Oh my god, okay. That's a really weird attack that... I'm not sure when the attack actually starts. Is it when he kicks his legs? I guess so. Okay, having that dodge roll there with eye with iframes makes it actually much, much easier. Um, I'm just bad. I don't know why you make iframes a skill, though, not just the default. Maybe it makes the combat too easy? I don't know. I feel like the combat's just way too difficult without the iframes. Um... Okay. So... We can make a cape still. Two more leather scrap. Um. Because, yeah, before we had the iframes, the combat was basically impossible. Now I'm just bad. Um... I still don't like some uh, some of the enemies though, the uh, the archers being one of those. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, the map is massive. Okay. Um. All right. So, let's see. We have a lot of... Hmm. Maybe if we go... Okay, what can we make that can potentially help us? That'll be better on our legs, but can... Mind Flare Spell Bag. Uh-huh. Uh, do, 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 do. So we can get more items with that. Okay. Oh, okay, I get... Does always give this... The backpack? Oh, their backpacks can give us... Oh, that requires a diamond. I don't know who makes backpacks with diamonds, but sure. That gives six slots. Okay. Uh -huh. What does this even do? Well, that needs diamonds anyway, so we can't do it. Bomb needs... Velarite Fragment and Coconut. I... Wait, is that the thing that we could see on the ground in the, um, the dungeon? Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna get two more leather straps so we can get get a cape. And then I think we'll go back to the dungeon. You can get diamonds from the caves. The caves that we get instantly murdered in. Okay. Cool, that's helpful. And also from merchants. Um who may or who may or may not exist in the town when we go there. And it's two kilometers away. <laughs> oh This is evidently not a trap. Oh, it actually wasn't. Oh. Okay. I thought the game was trying to trying to play me there. Maybe we will head back to town and um, go to the save point there. Sometimes a really cheap, like three coins. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I'm guessing the shops are not designed in a super well way. Um, doo -doo -doo. 
I, I met a merchant as soon as the game started. Then when I went back to town, he'd already left. Or got killed, maybe? Because there were some enemies in the town. So maybe he got killed by one of those. The deer. Oh my god. Come on. There we go. Okay. You drop leather strap? Yes. Okay. Cool. We can make our cape now. Um. Can dye the cloth. Which lets us make a tiny red pouch. Which gives us more space. Not much space, but more. Okay. Uh, which way is it to the town? In the opposite direction that we're going. Uh, settings. Want to go graphics. Ambient brightness is what I should have turned up. And now we turn on the auto walk key. And we go. Uh, was it this way? Yes. I love this game. I just love this. This is stupid. Every game needs an auto walk key. Especially walking simulators. Hopefully at some point there'll be, um... Like some for... Or may actually, maybe someone was mentioning earlier that you could get... Like you could tame animals. Is there a way to ride animals? There we go. Grab those. I'm just picking up stuff along the way. Uh, yeah, we'll go this way. Why is the time up top an hour behind? An hour behind what? That's my current time. Mounting and pets are in progress. Oh, it's clipping off the edge of the screen, though. That's an issue. Is the wolf hostile? Uh, that would be a yes. Makes sense. It's a wolf. Well, we're not going to deal with it. We're going to just jump off this mountain. I would like to see something in, like, these buildings that are just chilling out here. Because right now, they're just, like, there, not doing much. Okay, and we want to go that way. At least it's quite easy to get us back. No. Oh, you're not aware that it's... Will. Will, it's someone who doesn't know that Australia has half-hour time zones. Oh, no. Yeah, so Australia has the dumbest time zones known to man. Um... Where I live, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it is GMT plus 10.30. Yeah, don't question it. Can we, wait, can we land on one of these airships? I wonder. Can I just, like point myself at the ground. Oh, come on, I want to... They are clipping through each other. This is, um... <laughs> this is an issue. Haha! -ha! Perfect! Well, um, I better not fall off, actually, now that I think about it, because then I'll be sent all the way back. Okay, apparently you can take full damage from that. I didn't think you could. The 
It seems like this is the only place we can... Ah, it's our friend the merchant. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Um... What else can we sell you? Those ones? Uh... A lot of potions here. There's some topaz. I don't know if, what those are going to be... I don't know if those are any good at this point. Um, worn outs. We can get some leafy boots. Okay, those will be better. Oh, those are expensive. Uh, but those, yeah, we can't afford any of that stuff. Bows, axes. Oh, new staff, but it's very expensive. Sapphire. Okay. Oh, really? We can't... The, the, the glider is just worthless. Um... What was the key? Yeah, that's the key. Uh... Don't think there's anything here we can get that's worth grabbing. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, the mo Hold on a second. Why are these potions free? Uh... Um... I feel like they're not supposed to be free. <laughs> okay. Well... If you want to give them to me for free, I'll take them. Oh, wait. One of them had a cost in there? Cavs nut. Well. Okay. They're, they're not free. They're just rounded. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't have enough space? I should, what? That's odd. So they're not rounded... Oh, they're, they're rounded too low for what's being shown in the game. Uh-huh. Right, okay, that, yeah, that, I see that. The large potions are more expensive, though. Cool, okay, so now we have a bunch of potions. I guess we can sell you a rock. Yeah, we'll just... We'll buy whatever you want. Buy everything from you, I guess. Yeah, I, I know. That's fine. I'll, I'll deal with the cost later. Uh, why are the mushrooms more expensive than the potions? This, this trader doesn't exactly, uh, understand how, uh, trades should function. I am trading you a rock for all of these medium potions. Righto. If you say so. Um, put these there. Take those out of there. Actually, wait, I think I had something to sell you anyway. It was Agile Gauntlets, because we actually have better ones. Wait, how much is the scratched ring? Probably really expensive. Rings seem to be worth a lot. The economy is new, and there are still uh, a few corner cases we need to address. 
<laughs> like this ring being really expensive. Yeah. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any um, understanding of... or uh, Any logic in the way like pricing is structured at this point. I can fully get that it's new. I, I can totally understand that. Velorite fragments. Ah, we needed those. Um, anything else in here that we have? Uh, grab those. Cool. Except, awesome. Uh, we'll put that there. Put that there. Clean up my inventory a bit. No, I don't. I don't want you there. Go, go away. Uh, we'll put the minor potions here. Put that there. Put medium potions there. Okay. Eh. Ah, oh, right. Uh, that's still way too expensive for me. I would like to come back and get that, though. That would be nice. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's awesome that that's available. Oh, there's another... Oh, this is the merchant I was looking for before. Uh, do you have anything? Oh, you have a bunch of free potions as well. I'm look. I'm. They're not free, but I'm going to accept that they're basically free when I can trade them a rock. Uh, tiny leather pouch. Okay, I might grab that. Uh, oh, diamond. Okay, we'll grab that, grab that. Uh, so the SEC won't let me be or let me be, so let me see. Did you just make me read that to see if I could do it? Uh, the Druid's Vest is better than what I have, so I guess we can pick that up. God, that's expensive. This is getting added to the Epic of Gen 2. <laughs> uh, 27? Cool. <laughs> Alright. Not enough. Okay, there seems to be an issue in the way it handles these items. Where, even though they stack, it still says I don't have enough menu space. That's, that's weird. Um, they try to shut me down on live, but it feels so empty without me. Um, uh, grab that, grab that, grab that. And we'll give you another bowl, I guess. We just trade items that we find laying around the village. Oh, that stuff's much better than what we have. Mm. Or do we wait until we can get the blue one from the other one? But that might be gone by the time we get back, eh? I presume that they update their, their stock. Uh, okay, we'll get that. Cool. And we'll grab the Druid's Vest. Uh, do, do, do. Druid. Oh, no. Settle that one. We'll grab the Twig Shirt. Yeah, we'll grab the Twig Shirt. Yeah. Cool. Now I have a much better piece of armor. Okay, that's 
actually sells for quite a bit, jeez. Probably more than it should. Um, hmm. I want to check with the other merchant. What? Wherever that one was hiding at. It was in one of these buildings. Yes, here you are. Now, how much was your staff? Okay, that's, that's way too expensive. I'm not going to afford that. Oh, okay. I don't think I could actually afford it anyway. So, I think it may, might make sense to get... Why is there a thing in front of its door? What town are you in? I'm right near the start of the game. Like, the, the spawn town. Unless, it, unless you spawn in a different location... Uh. Hmm. Yeah, let's grab this. And we'll... Do that. Cool, awesome, we have a better weapon now. We're finally getting somewhere three hours into the stream. Oh, it's basically worthless. Well. I guess we can trade that for it. Cool. Awesome. So now we're going to have... We should have a much less bad time. The good thing about the town is all of the free vials. So I can go and make some... um. Some more potions on my journey. Chicken. Apple. Why are there apples just there? I presume they're supposed to be something different at some point. And also, I presume they're supposed to be somewhere to get up there. I couldn't work out. Uh, I'm gonna murder the chickens. Ah, okay. Much more damage now. Because I was barely... <laughs> I, I, I hope this is procedurally generated. I hope no one intentionally put that there. Um, hmm. Okay, there's a waypoint over there. Let's go over there so we don't instantly die. Cool. We've returned to we've re uh, returned to our hometown. We are. Stronger than we were. We're still incredibly weak. But... We're, we're getting somewhere in this game. Why do I still have this chest? Let me just chuck it. I don't even bother going to the merchant for it. This game's developed in Rust. Playing it makes you suicidal. Nah, I'm pretty good. That's that's sort of why I, I tagged the the um <laughs> the stream as Cube World. Oh, there's another town down there. And this town's over there as well. Huh, okay. Um You know what? We are going to challenge We're gonna go challenge the gay fridge. Which is still a beautiful name. We will challenge Gay Fredge again, and hopefully we do better this time. Now that I have, you know, rolls and stuff like that. We'll see how we go. And some much better equipment. Ah, yes, auto-walking. Oh, we're stuck. There we go. This is... Okay, the auto walking is not very helpful here when there's a massive mountain in our way. Uh, sunflowers? Yes. Eh. Here we go. Come on, there we go. I actually... You know what? It... Early game, I'm gonna say, the early game is horrendous. The first... I, th I think there's some... There's a lot of work that needs to be done for like that first three, two, three hours of the game. 
Because now, I think, once you sort of, like, understood a lot of the mechanics and you got dodge rolling and things like that, I think it's actually, like, it's getting a lot more fun. Like, as I'm playing it, it's getting much better and better. But those, like, first couple of hours are really tedious. Not to say that it should be, like, made super easy at the start, but... I think having, like, a dodge roll that works, for one thing, would be good. Um, once the aiming gets improved as well, that'll be nice for the, uh, the mage characters. Having the... We have this weird void between players joining and getting to play their first dungeon. It used to be worse. Okay, okay. If it used to be worse, then... I guess it's it's good to know that there's been progress, but having that dodge like that dodge roll should just be default. I there shouldn't you shouldn't be ha like having to level up to get iframes. That's that's dumb. Um, but once you once that's dealt with, and I guess you know the issues with how insanely quick the enemies attack. Once stuff like that's dealt with, I think I think yeah, there's a really good structure for a game here. Obviously, also, the, um, the, the shop system needs some balance, but that's, that can come at some point. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If we're going to judge it based on the progress, yeah, absolute great progress. Like, this is already better than what Cube World had, and Cube World's been in development for, like, six years. And, I, and this has the advantage of being open source. So rather than just being a single dude who's going to develop it slowly over the course of his life, if people want to take over this project, they absolutely can. Do we have anything new to craft? Oh, wow, we have a lot of stuff in here. Um, we can get some new sandals. It looks like you got the important stuff that made the Cube World Beta really good. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Oh, I've already got a Craftsman Hammer. I guess I can just make a bunch of potions. My dissertation project was writing a portable OS kernel in Rust. Oh god. That sounds way worse than, uh, than my final year stuff. What I will say is I'm not against coming back to Valoran. I will definitely be revisiting it. Maybe maybe I'll come back to it next, to, next week to see how much more content there actually is. And I will probably periodically revisit it after I stop playing it. Maybe like every six months or so just to see the development. Uh, I don't think I'd link the Valoran website in the, uh, the, the description. Can my issue with... Uh, I accept that as like a... Yeah, the game will be fun in multiplayer. But my problem with it's fun in multiplayer is... Everything is more fun in multiplayer. Like, watching paint dry is more fun in multiplayer. <laughs> if you have people with you, it's it's less boring. That's just sort of the nature of being around people. Uh, people? People. But... It has a decent enough multiplayer, uh, single player experience where there's still a game here that's at least worth, at least worth building upon. Like, I can see where it's going. And I can see that there's been a lot of attempted polish at it. It just is a very ambitious project and it's going to take a while to get to the point where, like, it's actually really good. But I would say that if you, if you haven't played Velorin yourself, I will recommend it. Like I, I'm not, I have no issue with giving my recommendation for this game. Ah, oh, there we go. There's what one thing I would like. Uh, I, I did mention this earlier. Would like to mention it again. I would like these uh waypoints to be on the map. Unless there's going to be a way to craft them. In which case, I guess it doesn't matter. But if they're not going to be craftable, yeah, they, they probably should be on the map. 
Because they're occasionally going to be kind of hard to see. Uh, oh god. This is a really annoying mountain to climb. This way? Yes, this way should get us there. Let's see, up here? Is this a different tree? This is, I guess it's supposed to be like a birch tree. If we're going... Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's cool. The more you hit it, the darker it gets. That's cool. How are you doing, Eric? I'm still playing this game. And I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> cool. Uh, there probably needs to be some XP tweak. Like, the, um, the enemies in the dungeon probably should give more XP than just these random-ass cows out here. Like, the cows are much better experience to farm than uh, going into a dungeon. Uh... Oh god, on the mountain, that's so dangerous to do. That knockback's actually not a bad idea for farming out here. Come on. There we go. Continue hitting the tree. I don't think it's going to break. Uh, I got myself a... I went to the merchant. I found out that potions are literally the price of a rock. And now I have a bunch of potions. Uh, I also bought myself a new staff and some new armor. And we're going back to challenge the uh, the dungeon again. Twig. Um, also, I have murdered the Cyclops and got myself some new armor as well. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Where's this dungeon? Down here? Here we go. That should... Get us roughly there. If the trees fell, that would be cool. Uh... I don't... Believe so? I don't believe they were bosses. Oh, I, I assume the, um... The, the, the rattle thingy isn't the boss. There's something else. That is actually the boss. Wait, that, I've, I haven't seen sheep yet. There we go. Oh my god. That's so powerful on the mountain. Oh, uh, I, I think I picked up a scepter. I just didn't use it. Oh. You know, I probably should be um, not fighting these enemies while my health is really low because I want to sort of conserve it by th for when we go into the dungeon. Um. Okay, there's the entrance. Cool. Well, that's one of the entrances. I don't know what you'd even do in a game like that. Um, no, I think I sold it earlier. Well, we'll find one inside of this, um, inside of the dungeon anyway, so I'll try it out then. Uh, we'll make, do pants. Do we have anything that's blue cloth pads? Already have one of those. Okay. Well, I don't have um, the any of the other stats unlocked. So, do I have? Oh, I got a I got a staff skill point though. Um, what should we grab? I guess we can grab. 
Damage? Damage might be helpful. Mmm. <laughs> Through the helpless villagers. Um. Stamina gain is also going to be nice as well. Because we are heavily using stamina. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. I think my second weapon I have equipped right now is a, um, a pickaxe, actually. But I'll grab another weapon. Maybe I'll grab the scepter um, when we get to... Or when we find one. Oh, I guess I want to get the experience as well. Right, you can't fall down this one. Okay, let's see if we can get through this dungeon the second time. Now that we're slightly better equipped. I do enjoy that the uh, uh, level zero dungeon requires me to actually go, like, train before we can come down here. Now, is that actually anything? Because I, I, I saw these before, and I'd sort of... A part of my brain feels like there's something there. No, okay, they are nothing. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, we ha that's a gnarling with a bow. Okay, what's down this way? That's just some moss. Yeah, I thought it might have been something. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, that's, uh... <laughs> well, this... This has gone well. That went exceptionally well. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, another scratched ring. Those are worth a lot. Ah, okay, yeah. I didn't know I was going to show something for the mine. Ah, uh, for the, uh, for the mining. But, yeah, that, that makes sense. Come on, where are you at? Uh, okay, there we go. Dealt with you. Where's the other one? Oh, it's over there? Cloth strap, nice. Oh, yeah, my ping, yeah. Need to use a flamethrower attack more? But if I use a flamethrower attack, it puts me in a position where... Um... Yes, I know I, I should use the potions. I'm trying to save the potions, though. I don't want to burn through all of them again. Okay, that dealt with it much quicker. Rocky Mole. Okay, so that's that's a Warhammer. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's so much nicer. <laughs> oh, this is the other entrance. Cool. Um, I guess we can save that. Uh, no, I've, I just joined the main one. Oh, because that, that, uh, now that requires 2 SP. I guess we'll grab the Scepter skill tree. What does the Scepter skill tree even have? Oh! That's cool. So that's not really useful for solo play, though. That's actually really useless for solo play. <laughs> Can we, uh, can we respec? Is that a thing that's available? Guess not. Guess not at this stage. Maybe. Maybe at some point it will be. Yeah, I hadn't even considered the fact that I'm connected to a server and... <laughs> zero ping. Yes. Perfect. Yep. The server is literally in my... In my basement. Can't respec? Okay. Okay.
There we go. Deal with you. Beast cliff. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, no. Scepter has life steal. I get... Well, I guess... I guess that is useful in some way, but you only really get one attack in solo play. Because if you... The other one, you know, sort of relies on there being other people. One of video on Mutt, because I haven't used it. That's why. Um... Let's see, so we can go this way, and there'll be a mushroom. Do you better... Yeah, we can craft a bunch of apple sticks. Cool, okay. I should use the flamethrower attack more often, but I'm also dodge rolling a lot. Well, when we find a scepter, then we'll try it out. Um... Oh, you're... Okay, I thought he was a melee one. He was just trying to, like, get close to me for some reason. There we go. Gnarled Rod. That's useless. We don't care about that. Oh, he's a melee one. <laughs> this is how a cast is supposed to be. Perfect. Now that I realise that I can hold down the key and attack faster. Perfect. Scepter has life still. When you are solo, you are dying before you can steal some life. Ah. Well, that's that's helpful. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, perfect. So that is slightly useful. I just need to time it well. We still haven't found a scepter though. Um, I guess I can use my fireballs to work out which rooms I've been to. Okay, so this is the way I came in. Okay, so I've been here as well. Yep, cool. So I think that was the way I was supposed to go. Let's go! Um, this way. Yeah, this is a clean room. Yep, that's, that's the one I was looking for. <laughs> the correct way to descend the stairs. Okay, mushroom over here. I think, I, you know, now that I'm... It went better than when you played with the staff. Okay. Huh. That That's convincing. I'll try that out. When I get one. I think that's it right there. Um. Uh, yep, that'll be the scepter. Okay. Well, let's see. Come on, one of them. Okay. Yeah, that's that is cool. And having that healed is nice. Okay, okay, I can see I can see what the appeal is. Uh, we can get rid of that one, so we can get a vial. So now when I, um... So now when I kill stuff, I'll get experience with both of them. Yes, okay. Good to know, okay. I guess with the melee ones, it might make a lot of sense to actually train them like that. Because you can't... Because what is he going to do to me? Can't really do a ton. He's like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna run at you. And as long as you dodge back, it's fine. 
Okay. Yeah, that's it's kind of a cool weapon. I don't know whether I'd use it as my main weapon. I'm sort of enjoying the caster now. But it's not a bad weapon, to say the least. Oh god, that's that's a uh, archer. There we go. Uh, cool, so we can... It's, it doesn't, early on at least, it doesn't heal much, which makes sense, because otherwise it would be broken. Um, go on, do your thing. Okay, yeah, so later on it will be good. Okay, cool. It's still better than nothing. Which is, which is good. <laughs> uh, play necklace. Ooh. That'll be worth a lot. Uh, put in my next spot. Do you recommend the game to somebody as it is right now? Or just wait until more polish. I think it's worth trying it out now. And then if you really do enjoy it, maybe throw a couple of dollars towards the devs or something. Okay, that's what I was thinking was something. Is... I... I think it's at least worth giving a shot and seeing if it's up your alley. Um. Haha! -ha. I knew that was gonna be. I knew that was something. Okay, I wasn't going insane. And now we have Velarite fragment. Nice. Um. Where's my? There we go. With a high level scepter like legendary or emerald, somewhat upgraded life steal ability. It looks nice, especially with shield abilities increases your armor. Oh, nice. The Bone Rattler is broken. Wow, that was much easier than Bone Rattler was supposed to be, I, I presume. Um, <laughs> yeah, much, much easier. Let's see. So we can go... That'll be further into the dungeon. We probably should go that way, rather than checking out what else is around. But, we're going to check out what else is around, because why not? <laughs> I want to get through this dungeon. That's, that's my goal for tonight. I like how they have no reaction to the enemies, or to me doing that to them. Just like, unless you hit them, they don't care at all. Probably should be something about that. Like, maybe they should, like, react if an explosion happens near them. Because uh, as it is, you can all... Like, as a cast, you can always get the drop on the enemy. Which I feel like is a little bit unfair. The Bone Rattler has a kind of wolf AI where it tries to circle you and dash at you. But as you can see, it doesn't work as well everywhere. Yeah. Tight space is not a good plan. I think if you're willing to accept that the game is very much in an alpha state. Uh, yeah, it's worth, worth playing. But if you're thinking you're going to get something that's like, you know great or even like remotely actually i would say good it's it's good at least if you think you get something great in the state it's in you're playing the wrong game but if you want to sort of like see where it's coming from see see where it see like i guess where a game like this could potentially go then i think it's still worth checking out um there we go i should have just used it Apple stick or whatever to, instead of that one. That's fine. We've got plenty of potions now. Uh, let's see. Is this way? Yes. Uh, yes, this way. Yeah. I guess 
I don't know. I guess the goal right now is sort of just like explore the dungeons. It's like the same sort of rough goal that Minecraft has where it's like just do things. There's no like set here's like where you should be going, I guess. Uh... Wait, that's the wrong item. Oh no, I just had him in the wrong order. Uh, you should do a video on QO Note. It's a great complement to something like VimWiki or whatever. It's an org mode clone. Ah, okay. Thanks. I'll check that out. There's no point using Sept because we're at full health. Oh, God, no. There we go. Okay. One Elven Warhammer. Last time I checked, there's around 20 to 30 players in the public server that are also exploring and mucking around. Okay, we've got into a very dangerous room. Okay. I was just a ruby greatsword. That would have been far cooler. Oh, okay. There's another one shooting at me. Now that we don't take as much damage from these guys, they're much less threatening. You know what? I take back what I said about the, um, the combat being too difficult. I still think it needs some improvements, but... It is kind of nice that you won't get through your, the, the dungeon on your first shot. It just won't happen. Like, you will have to go grind a bit to get through the first dungeon. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because it... now, like, they're doing one damage to me. And I'm doing so much more to them. So, you know what? I like it. I'll still complain, because I'm going to die, but that, just expect me to complain. That's just my thing. Crescent Savior? What is that? Oh, it's a scepter. It's a much better scepter than the one we have. It's slower, but the, the power is considerably higher. Sure. But I, I hope something like this does help out. Just having someone do like a, a long play. Whoa! Okay, that looks like a boss. I guess I got really close to the boss last time I was here then. Cool. Um, no, it's just decorations. Oh, there's some more velarite. There we go. Pick that up. Cool. Uh, can we use the velarite for anything yet? I don't remember what I was actually collecting it for. Ah, the bombs. Right, you can throw those. Um, I don't remember what I was even collecting them for, to be honest. Okay, so I guess there's... Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, God. Nope. That's, that's big. That's definitely a boss. That's the boss. Yep. Okay, okay. We've... This... This is... Yeah. I actually have to stamina manage. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to stamina manage in this game. Uh, stamina manage. That wasn't uh, my initial intention when I was playing this. But hey... That's something we have to do. Good to know. Woo! Yay! Um... 
You watch through most videos people do on the game. Oh, that's awesome. That is an even better scepter. Has a way lower crit chance, but base damage is insane. Um, yeah, twigs we can get more of. That's fine. Yeah, hopefully it does. Um, but hey, it's it's a boss, and that's 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 still pretty cool. That is a really long range on that now. Jeez. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here. Oh my lord! I think the scepter actually might be my most powerful weapon. <laughs> yep, the scepter is so much more powerful now. Jeez. <laughs> Does it? Wait, is it aware of my range? Oh my lord. That is insane. Well, I think we have uh, our main weapon now. To level 5 Mind Flare Dungeon. Oh lord. Um, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, that sounds dangerous. This is this is us going through the level zero dungeon, and we've finally gotten to the point where it's it's easy enough to get through. Um, I don't even know what a level five dungeon would entail. <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of the clover glider. We don't need that. Oh wow, what a great chest! Oh, the level five boss does have attack patterns. Okay. Where is the Mind Flare dungeon? Oh, the map's a bit laggy. That's weird. Um, I wonder where that's at. Town, <laughs> dead town. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, cool. That's that's something to be excited for for later down the line then, I guess. Okay, so that's a caster over there. We should deal with him. Then we should knock back on that one. Switch out to that. There we go. And we can deal with you at a range. Oh my god, this scepter is so broken. It is a... It's a, it's a quite a good drop from the level 0 dungeon. Oh well, we don't even need that scepter anymore, do we? Um, What can we get rid of? Well, unless we have um, enough to craft a new pouch. <sighs> we don't. Um... Uh, I would like to have a um a search bar in here. Okay, okay. So the the dungeons are still very much a work in progress. Uh huh. Oh, that'll be nice to have at some point. Uh, seashell necklace. Where's the red bag? Uh, crafting tab categories. Okay. So that'll be helpful for sure. Um, okay. That'll give us some more item slots. Cool. Grab that. And now we can buy, we can make a red pouch. We can equip that. Okay. Now we can pick stuff up. Good. Cool, uh, that dungeon is finally complete. Something that also would be nice at the end of the dungeon is like a quick way out of the dungeon. Because, you know, <laughs> they're, they're a bit confusing. Um, 
Like maybe, I don't know, teleport back to the top or whatever. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. You can combine two tiny red pouches along with some more red cloth to make a bigger bag. Um... Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Knitted red pouch? Ah, okay, we need three of them. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, it doesn't even do much damage to me. Well, I can just, like, switch to this one and be like, give me all your health. I think I do... Yeah, it heals more damage than it does. At least to the casters. There we go. Ah, press slash. Right, I forgot there's no um, there's no penalty for dying, is there? When there is a penalty for dying, it would be um, it would be nice. Cool. Uh, no. Hey. Um. Hmm. I guess we take. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Um. I guess we can grab the bigger explosion radius. Yeah. I don't know how much bigger that was. <laughs> so if we... Let's just drop some items for now. We'll drop those ones and drop those ones so we can put those. Except... Oh, that's going to drop all of my items, of course. Right. Um... Oh, God. Uh... How do, wait, how do I unequip the other one? Okay, there we go. Now it's unequipped. Um, red cloth. That's the one we want. And now if we go in here. Knitted red pouch. There we go. Perfect. Okay, much better. Uh, okay. Oh god, Bone Rattler. But AI's broken, so it's fine. I presume when the AI is for those is, like, good, um, they will actually be a threatening enemy. I presume that's the intention. Because <laughs> they do have 100 health, so... Oh, 85 health, I guess. Okay, that should be the end of the dungeon, then. Cool. Okay. Um... Where are we at? So I guess we can go back to the... Back to town. And... I think we'll end it off there. I'll go back to town. Hopefully the merchant's chilling there. And... Yeah. I... I am really impressed. Because a lot of people were telling me, Oh, the game... The game still needs a lot of work and this and that, but... It does need a lot of work, but that's not to say there's not already a really good experience here. So I, I, I'm really impressed. Genuinely impressed. I know I've said that a bunch, um, but it's, it's definitely true. I'm, I'm very much impressed.
Oh, God. That was... Right, okay, they can knock me off the edge as well. Oh my god, a bunch of sunflowers again. Oh yeah, no one answered me earlier about the, um, like the apples and the, the sunflowers and stuff. Do those actually, like, respawn, like, every so often? I presume they do. The goddamn lion. Is that a lion? No, it's a moose. Okay. It looked like a lion from its butt. Come back here, mate. Now that I know you're not a lion, I'm gonna murder you. Hey! New scepter skill point. Ah, oh, there's those deers. Oh dear. Oh. Do you know what a good way to deal with the deer is? This. Um. There we go. Knocking those out. I didn't even touch melee this time, did I? Maybe I'll have to do melee next time. Just see how that goes. But the, the cast the characters, yeah. Yeah, I think it's fun. Um, oh, we're almost at four hours. Jesus. Well, we'll go back to town. Which is not in the direction I'm walking. But it is getting us up the mountain, so that works well enough. And then maybe next time we'll go to a different, uh, different dungeon or something. I think, like, Valheim's sort of the same. Someone was saying earlier, this game doesn't really have much of a... I usually don't really have much of a goal when you're playing this. But I think Valheim's sort of the same. Where it's just... Live in the world and just go about your life. Obviously, Valheim is in a much more complete state. But the, the point still holds. And there's snowy mountains over there. That's cool. That's the direction. Yes. And auto fly, cool. <sighs> this is lovely. I would like it so if you're in like the um the cursor mode like this, there was like a way to freely move the camera around without actually affecting the direction you're going. Just so you could, you know, like explore the world a bit as you're Oh, I guess. As you look... No. Yeah, okay, no. If you look around, it does change your direction. Um, yeah, it would be nice to just be able to move the camera around while you're flying in auto walk mode. Um, that it doesn't change your direction. Or there was a way to move around without changing your direction, I guess. You can press L. Okay. Ignore what I said. Thank you. This is what happens when I don't read the controls. <laughs> uh Turns out there is. Um, yeah. Thank you for that. Perfect. I guess while we're falling, I'll just do my skills. Um, uh, grab that one. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. I think, uh, I think 13 damage is a fair trade for falling from a couple kilometers in the air. Oh, another merchant. You're new. You also got a cute bow like I do. I, no, I almost attacked you. That wouldn't be bad. <laughs> learn skills at terminal velocity. Look, when else would you learn skills? Uh, so rings are, well, at least that ring's pretty bad, so we might as well sell it. I guess we can also just sell all this equipment as well. Rocky Mall. 
Uh, flimsy hammer. The well, that that's actually worthless. I thought we would that would have been worth way more. And then, do we have anything of value from you? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's that's missing a texture now, isn't it? Oh, a lava rod. That looks better than what I have. Um. Hmm. The speed is lower. But. The damage is higher. Damage is considerably higher. Most of the stats are worse, but. Yeah, I'll take it for the damage. And a tiny leather pouch as well. Um. Okay, we'll deal with those first. And then now, now we can buy stuff. Okay. Some Velarite in there. Might as well buy the Velarite. No harm in it. A diamond? Pretty cheap. Yep, cool. Empty vials, no point buying those. We can get those for free. Uh, plain necklaces? No, those are useless. Iron feet. Bowls? No, we're definitely not buying bowls. Get some more free potions. Uh, what do we have? Five free? Six free slots. And then we can give you, I guess... Guess what do we... Guess we have to give you some money this time. Wow. Uh, okay. Grab these as well. There is no point just not stocking up on potions uh, and give you a rock. Thank you. Because inventories are broken right now. And if... They, because... Okay. Uh, in case someone didn't hear me earlier, um, with these items that stack, if I put more items here than I have open slots in my inventory, um, it doesn't actually let me take them. So if I put like a bunch of things like this, and then I try to buy it, it'll complain that my uh, that I, ha I don't have enough space, even though I would be putting those onto a stack. Uh... Six free slots. Yep. It can give you a rock. Uh, so grab that one. Grab the Velarite. Grab another... Oh, did I not grab the diamond earlier? See you later, Will. Uh, I'm probably going to end off not too long from now. Um... There we go. Grab that. Cool. Oh, wow, we have a lot more stuff we can make now. We can make another tiny leather pouch. Definitely worth making that. Now, our, our inventory is slightly less bad. Oi, get back over here. Actually, why didn't I just sell a sunflower? Too many girls in the video game. <laughs> uh... Yes, I, I play as a female character. That's my normal go-to. We can buy that. I don't know what that even is. Um, and we'll give you... I'll give you some cheese. Well, oh, that, that'll cover it, won't it? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Weeb? Weeb for playing as a female? Sure, I, I guess. That... <laughs> oh, what do we have? Leather scraps. Lovely. Um, I probably should go to the waypoint. Just so nothing bad happens. And I'd have to run all the way back here. <laughs> yes, well, I am a weeb. But I don't think playing as a female makes me a weeb.
There's a... There's just a, a sheep chilling here. Sup, bro? Uh... You, 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 you stuck a little? Um... I, I'll help you out. Oh, he's good now. Okay. Sure. That was, um... An interesting problem to have. Oh, was a minor... Oh my god, there's just a potion sitting on the ground. That's... Cool, there's an armor stand. Sure. Whatever. They don't do anything, but that's cool. Um... Cockatrice? Yeah, just... Cockatrice just chilling in the town. No biggie. Um... Where was the merchant chilling last time? Mushroom? Help me... St oh, no. No, no help me step bro with a... With a... With a sheep. That's not... That's not good. No. That... That's... No, that's not allowed. <laughs> uh... That this is not allowed. Um, I'm trying to see if there's another merchant chilling around the town. There's occasionally others that come hang out. Cause that female merchant's a new one. I I haven't seen her before. But there doesn't seem to be like a a set location they go to. My house is mine. I won't trade it for anything. That's the merchant we saw before. Uh, okay. I think I've just gone back into a couple of the same houses. <laughs> this channel's been terminated. <laughs> uh. Yeah, no. That, that's... There are... Why is there a pig in the house? How are you doing, Philip? You picked a good time to join. I'm four hours into the stream. I'm going to stop soon. <laughs> I'm just raiding people's houses like you do in RPGs. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. I don't... I haven't spotted another merchant. So maybe... Maybe she's the only one here this time. Hmm... But hey, I get to show you this. The game lets me just zoom out as much as possible. And let, it starts doing this. <laughs> well, if you can ignore problems like this, um, yes, I, I do think it's worth playing. I think the people who say it's there's nothing here. I'm really overstating the problem. Why is that door you cannot get to? Who designed this building? Yeah, it, it's overstating the problem, but it's... There's still a lot of work that needs to be done. I won't deny that. But... Yeah, try it out. If you don't like it, you can always just get rid of it. No biggie. Uh, I don't think there is anything else here. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I can I can tell. Oh, stone sledgehammer. Uh, got uh, that one. I guess we can. Oh, I've got a couple of items here. Okay, the fact that they're procedurally generated, I can I can accept there's going to be problems with them then. I presume at some point there's actually going to be like m the the villagers are actually like going go in and out of the buildings, and there's actually going to be like some reason the buildings are here because right now everyone just chills outside. Um, I guess there isn't anyone else in town right now. I guess it's just her. I can't find anyone else. Minecraft the same issue with the villagers? Yeah, definitely did. Yeah, the early villagers in Minecraft were a 
kind of a mess. But they got better over time. Huh. I don't think there's any way to get to that sec that second floor. Like, I think I... Is there a door up here, maybe? N I don't know. No, it looks like there's just no way to get in that building. Okay. <laughs> oh, what are you? Gu oh, there are guards? What? Okay, so maybe the guard... There are guards that protect the village. They just... Don't have AI to protect the village yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's news. Um. I think you still get in... You still get a door with a... Wait. So you can still get a house with a door facing ravine. I haven't seen anything that bad, but I have seen it. Why is there a chicken in the house? Okay. <laughs> wait, didn't I buy a new staff? Or, wait, did I? I didn't buy a new staff and then sell it back to her, did I? Oh my god, I'd feel dumb if I did that. Re replay the stream. Did I do something that stupid? Uh, maybe I just forgot to buy it. Okay, no, I just forgot to buy it. Okay, I'm not as dumb as I thought I was. Get rid of that one. And we'll give you the rest in coin, I guess. Okay. Oh, is the peacock a pet? Ah, oh, that's cute. There we go. Now we have our new stuff. We have the lava rod. It attacks considerably slower, but... Hey, it's, it's a lava rod. Um... Let's let's find me a a lion to deal with. Or hyena, that'll work. Remember when these were threatening? <laughs> Not so much now. Um Do we have anything else we can make here? We can make a salad. Salad doesn't seem we can make we can make sunflower iced tea. That's really good healing. What the hell? Okay. Well, that's, that's useful. Um, I think we've got all of the base set set up. Mushroom curry. Oh my god, the mushroom curry is r insanely powerful. That, that's better than a medium potion. Is that basically oil tea? I guess so. Sunflower oil tea. Yeah, I think that might, that might not be the best, would it? Um, uh, put that there. Okay, we have a bunch of healing items now. We can make a bunch of minor potions. Because we have some apples and some... Okay, we can't make that many. Make some... Oh! So Valorite Fragments are used in that one. How powerful is it going to be against these guys? Not as, as much as I'd expect. Okay, maybe still very powerful. Oh my god! Okay, well... Combat's gotten easier. 39 damage. Wow. Wow. 
Okay. Um. Early game, pain in the ass. But once you get past the early game, it's good. Uh. Par okay, well. I don't know why that's a thing. It shouldn't be. Uh. Let's see. Uh, I guess we can... Well, yeah, early... early. Mi Honestly, I feel like early Minecraft uh, world generation was kind of better. Uh, I guess we grab health upgrade. Well, I think that's as good a place as any to end it. We're back in the starting town, but we are considerably more well-equipped than we were when we first came here. Um... We've got a lot of new items, a lot of a uh, lot of new healing items, a lot of new a lot of new items in general, to be honest. And I think we have certainly made some good progress. I'm just sort of rearranging my inventory now. Am I going to stream this again? Absolutely, I will be streaming this again. There is there is not a chance that I'll just leave this game alone now. Uh, I don't know when I'll stream it, but I will definitely be streaming it again. Here we go. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I guess we'll leave it at the waypoint over here, wherever that is. Uh, here it is. Cool. We'll just leave our character here. Awesome. Um, Velerin Let's Play. Well, it would sort of just be a Minecraft Let's Play at that point. <laughs> where you just, you know, chill throughout the world. But, oh yeah, the map is, uh, is the map is quite big. So, there's uh, a lot of, a lot of places we could go. And there's these ones that are level 5, which sound much harder. Um, I guess we might go for like a level 1 dungeon next time. See how difficult that is. Maybe we'll try a level 2 dungeon. Just go straight into it. That would be fun. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Oh god. Thank you guys for watching. I highly, highly recommend Valoran. If you. Uh. If you haven't checked it out for yourself. If you have. Um. And you checked it out maybe like a while back. It, maybe check it out again. And see if. It's improved since the last time you tried it out. I certainly think it did. Uh, thank you to all of the devs who decided to show up this time. That is always appreciated. Like, I I love it when devs are really open to feedback on their projects. And you guys seem to be definitely open. So, uh, let's see. We'll go to the talking head. Mm. That might be my longest stream I've ever done, actually. It's been 4 hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> God. Um, I might do a Doom stream tomorrow. It won't be 4 hours. That's, that's for goddamn sure. But I'll probably do another stream on the gaming channel. Or I might not. We'll see what I decide. My face is very sweaty. Wow. I apologize you had to see that the entire time. Um, did I change the server back yet? What do you mean, did I change the server back yet? I'm sure what you mean. Um, also, I, I apologize that I wasn't, you know, keeping up the conversation like I normally do with the stream. Um, I was sort of paying way more attention to the game itself. Oh yeah, it is still an MS-DOS server, isn't it? Yeah, the Discord is is still about MS-DOS. Forgot about that. Um, no, I haven't changed it. <laughs> it's still... The, the Discord is still an MS-DOS Discord server. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, I don't remember. Check out... Check out Valorant. Yeah, <laughs> do that. Uh, there's something else I was saying. I forgot. 
Hmm. I don't know. Next week, I'll probably stream... Maybe I'll do a mind test stream next week. Because people keep bothering me about playing mind test. It'll probably be a single player. And then if I like it, then after that, I guess we can do a multiplayer thing. That would be fun. But until then, I have been Brody Robertson. You have been watching my stream. I don't know how to do stream outros. So I'm just going to play my outro music and we're just going to end it. Mind test sounds fun. It does sound fun. Yes. Anyway, outro music it is. My music is very quiet. Uh, oh, okay. I am well aware that they will ask for a mind test server. Right, I remember what I was saying before, just for end of the stream. Um, sorry that I wasn't, like, keeping up the normal level of conversation I try to when I stream. I was just trying to, like, work out how this game actually works and sort of critique it as, as I was going. Uh, I didn't really have much of a chance to actually look at my topics. So, <laughs> um, next time I play this game, I'll try to keep it more like a, a lively stream, like I normally try to do. But until next time, thank you guys for watching. Uh, where's my end stream button? There it is.